Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Are we live? Seems good. Wait, do we have a picture? Let's make sure. Okay, cool. Uh, so we need to make some... Uh, we need to make a build for... What is it? Chemical gel? Specifically? Uh, with some haste. I think I'd like to put it close to the... Uh, Drop-off point for... Petroleum. So we'll bring our scaffolding spiders over this way. Uh, I could use this vacant spot in the middle, actually. Let's get the construction spiders over there. There's a lot of places that need petroleum, after all. I mean, chemical gel. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about this fluid... Uh, I am going to worry about that broken roundabout, though. What the? There we go. And we've still got some chests. There's almost nothing in them. Okay, cool. Excellent. Uh, let's get my spider over that way as well. I don't suppose we actually need the scaffolding spiders over here. And we'll remove some straight rail. Taking care not to remove the left-right straight rail there. Down we go. And... I'm pretty sure we need that part. Actually, did I mark that for deconstruction? I did. Yeah, no, that should be fine. So we need just a little bit of straight rail here. There we go. Uh, and let's replace the missing bits of rail. And then we'll do a dedicated uh, chemical gel build here. It's a little off-center, actually. Uh, where do I add it? Go to the map first. Chemical gel, and then zoom in on here. Cool. So what goes into chemical gel? I think it's just two fluids, right? Petroleum and cosmic water. And nothing else. We're almost certainly going to be more, like, easily bottlenecked on just fluid input-output here, so come to think of it, I probably didn't need to reserve a block for this, but whatever, it's fine. Let's see just how fast this thing could be. What is going on with this spider? Oh, you picked up a bunch of stuff you don't normally carry. Okay. Uh, give me that. No? Wait, I thought they were carrying... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. And are you having similar issues? Split stack happening right before our eyes. Alright. So, if we go for... Well, first of all, we're going to need a fluid input. Can I steal that from somewhere? Absolutely. Let's put that there. Should line up with this station. 
and this gets rotated this way, actually. Um, I could just put this on both sides, perhaps. And we could have a dual fluid drop-off, or just a bigger fluid drop-off and one fluid on each side. We need some space manufactories. I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that makes chemical gel. Let's check. Chemical gel made in space manufactory. And how fast is it without even speeding it up? Uh, everything is slow except for petroleum gas, which is ridiculously fast. Once we put some speed modules in. 520 per second for one machine. Okay. Um, I think... I think I would like to just put this as close as possible to all of the storage. How much... Uh, I wish... How can I actually figure out how quickly we need this stuff? I think it's probably because we did a run on Ion Stream here, which is not going to be reflective of how quickly we're going to need it overall. But still, I would rather have excess capacity to make Ion Stream that sits idle, as opposed to the opposite problem. Um, I wonder where we've got... Uh, cosmic Water. It's being made here, actually. So there's at least that, if we dismantle the old stuff. What if we... Do it like this, actually. How many of these could I fit? Obviously not four. If I can, I would like to have the cosmic, uh, the petroleum pump straight in like this. That's not actually connected anywhere. Don't think we can. Um, if we're gonna have like, let's say four of these, that is 2000 per second. It's only 416 chemical gel per second. How much chemical gel does this thing... Well, it's actually ion stream that it wants. Uh, how quickly does it theoretically consume ion stream? 6.2 thousand per second. Uh, and these two, which we haven't updated properly, only give us like 900. But those are actually bottlenecked on... Or at least temporarily they were bottlenecked on chemical gel. Um, what's our ratio like here? Probably bad now. We need one-to-one -one plasma stream to make ion stream. We just have to add copper. Okay, so that simplifies figuring this out. Uh, 10 chemical gel actually makes 100 plasma stream. So all we have to do is divide this demand by 10. So we need like 625 chemical gel per second if we're going to keep up with that. Which would imply six of these machines. If we go for six of them... We're looking at 3.12 thousand uh, petroleum gas per second. 
when we're going at full speed. Maybe I should have built this, um, like I could build a petroleum drop-off around this build, especially because the machines aren't going to need that much space. That way we don't need trains um, to take from here. I could also just add another drop-off. Uh, another, like, spaceship drop-off in here. Um, but I suspect the only thing that we're using petroleum for directly um, in space is probably chemical gel, as far as I can recall. Hmm... Well, I would rather... This is something I would definitely rather overdo than underdo. Let's throw out... a wide area beacon as well, perhaps. And if we go full speed ahead... That's 56 megawatts. Let's maybe not, actually. It's also going to be crazy fast. Uh, plus 300%. Uh, zero, I mean, 100% speed, uh, energy consumption, and minus 80. Okay, so how fast is this now? 139 per second. I think, uh, we would need five. I think I'll go for six and see how neatly I can fit these together. Probably not that neatly, actually. Um, hmm. This lines up very well. We don't need much cosmic water, right? 69 per second. If I put this here, that also lines up pretty well. Or I could even put a pump here to make absolutely sure that can go fast. Um, and as for the cosmic water... I don't think I should have this be like a dual drop-off. We should probably drop off the cosmic water at a different train stop. Because we're, we're gonna need, like, let's say we go for 4.2 thousand. Uh, we're, we're gonna need a train dropping off every... I'm calculating this backwards. Um, if we go for 100,000 per second, we would need one train per second. 4.2k. Uh, we'd need a train every 23 seconds to keep up with this going at full speed. Which is not that far out of the question, especially if the, the train doesn't have to go all of that far. But I think it'll be more just burst usage that we need it that fast. Um, so... Where do I want... How do I want to lay this out? I think I just want to add more storage, to be honest. Like this. And... Like... 
could I could move these down a couple of tiles so they we pump them away from here. Is it going to slow the fluid down that much if I have a few storage tanks? And where am I going to put the... Why don't I just do a line down the middle? If we have a... Cosmic water drop off here. I'm really considering adding a second uh, tanker or drop off spot for a tanker. Yeah, I think I will. Okay. So we should probably build around that. Um, we can probably... If we're doing that, we can completely get rid of the train input for the petroleum. This can be cosmic water. We can put a... Um, how do I want to do this? I'll make a big space here. Do not kill the spiders, please. Do not move the spiders. What is this? A constant combinator. And then if I copy this, if I blueprint this actually with tiles. Uh, we can put that right about here. And where did that blueprint go? I need to know where the clamps are going to be. Here we go. They should already have the correct ID. 1002? I don't think that's right. 3006. Oh yeah, I copied it from down here. Alright. So that goes there. Um, let's get our spaceship builder spider. Oh, it's already in place. With any luck, it's already got enough resources to do this. Um, I'll just grab this exact spaceship as a blueprint without the scaffold tiles. And we'll copy that to here. Fantastic. Does it not have storage tanks. It does not have storage tanks. Let's bring the construction spiders over for a visit. And back to the mall. I think we've got everything spaceship specific here, so let's send the spaceship builder Spidertron back for resupply. Hey, Daniel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you thought about doing a highlights channel? Uh, not really. I suppose I should. I don't really think of making a clip when things happen. I probably should do that too. Um, so we're going to need... We're going to need to drop off... 
some liquid rocket fuel, theoretically. Um, and we're going to need to... Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I'll just summon the ship here so that I can build around it. Um, I will have these same settings for when the ship goes back. And we've still got plenty of iron here. That's good to know. Oh, that's going back downstairs, actually. Um, I think I need to make sure I set this as lowest priority. Because it is a huge drain on our ion resources. Um, our ion stream. And it's, like, just for making science. And we need the spaceships to keep moving. Okay, so then, how do I arrange these? Should I put this further up or something? Um, I feel like this whole mess should be up here, and we'll put these machines down this way. So, scrap all of that. We're going to make some room. I wonder what happens when the floor gets removed from below my feet. Probably won't spontaneously die. Probably. Let's grab that blueprint again. Uh, this one. So we're, ha we're gonna have our ship landing about here. I like how I'm just standing there as if nothing happened. this again. And then we can have our processing here and output down here. Uh, one thing I do wish picker dollies would have is just hold down the button to keep moving something. But that's a minor issue to say the least. We need just a regular pickup station. Uh, the output fluid is going to be quite slow. Even if we go completely ham on this, like 10 of these machines, that would be 7,000 petroleum gas, but only 1.4 thousand uh, chemical gel. So we're going to, why don't we go for, say, I think I, I said I was going to go for six of these machines, actually, didn't I? We can probably, maybe, hopefully fit those all down here. Uh, so that I was hoping we wouldn't have to have this gap between them. But... What are you going to do? We're not going to be ha able to have all of these next to each other. I think if I put it here, it's fine, actually. And just to confirm, that is only 417,000, I mean, what, thousand? 417 chemical gel per second on that side. 
Uh, I guess I will... Push this down like so. And... Like that. That doesn't look right. That should be fine. Alright, so how much do these need? 695 petroleum gas each. I think I would like to have... Petroleum storage like this, so that we can really hoover up a lot of petroleum when we need that burst. This is going to be different on the other side. I don't like it. And... Cosmic water will be pretty slow, actually. 278 on each side. We don't even need a pump. No need to worry about that. Is there a way that I could make this symmetrical? I don't think so. I could have that covering the middle. It would be less asymmetrical. I think I can live with that more. Oops. Yeah, I think that looks better. I watched VOD from yesterday. That was fun when arty turrets shoot at each other. Indeed. When I was there, I laid it uh, far away from Artie's, landed far away from Artie's and, the, and just used jetpack to get there. Gus hurt a lot, uh, but used freezer gun to remove them. Gus hurt a lot? Oh, the guns? Guns, yes indeed. Um... Yeah, this seems fine, actually. No. That makes it look more asymmetrical again. Okay. So where is our ship? I haven't added a tag here yet for petroleum. What the? Why can't I place it? There we go. Um, we're still waiting on a train to bring the petroleum. What causes FPS to drop but UPS to stay the same, stay the same on a small base? Uh, I would say your graphics card um, isn't keeping up with the game. Uh, JP, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to launch this. It's a little bit of a waste of liquid rocket fuel, but we've, we're totally saturated on it. Um, I kind of want to launch this thing already, just so I can get a clear picture of where things are going to fit here. We don't have the circuit logic to make it automatically leave just yet. Do we have another train coming with petroleum? Uh, that one's just leave. Uh, that's a yes. It's gonna take a minute to get here. I placed 30k rails over each other in all possible directions and curvatures. 
when you looked at the mess, FPS dropped to three. Oh no. All right, let's uh, let's launch this thing. If petroleum less than. Oh, I didn't give it a name yet. What's it called? The kite. Uh, so this is Petroleum Shuttle 2. And let's make this one number one. Cool, cool, cool. Petroleum Shuttle number two should be arriving here in just a little while. Like, within a minute, game time. And we're gonna have... Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Fluid output here. Alright, let's add some signals. I might leave the second half of this block available for just something random. We're probably... Probably not gonna, like, double this one day. Alright, so... Oh, and we need liquid rocket fuel delivered. Let's do that as well. Um, I think I would rather have that delivered about here. And put these booster tanks. I can't really fit them here, but that's fine, I think. That looks weird, like it wouldn't line up, but it does. So we need some pumps, like so. We need some little narrow space pipes between there and uh, we don't need that much throughput for the liquid rocket fuel. But we do need to pump it in. Let's get out of the way of the petroleum. The whole point of bringing the spaceship here is so that we can have the highest possible uh, petroleum throughput coming down here. So let's add a palm here, and then what do we got? 15 minus 3. Wait, I could do like a 7 here. And unfortunately that would require 2, about a 3 here. One, two, three, four. That's unfortunate. So we have to alternate between five and seven to make that line up. Uh, actually, should I? How fast? Uh, I think I need that chart for exactly how fast fluid gets pumped through. We want 2.78k on each side. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet. Uh, we want 2.78k on each side, so I should probably have a pump after each uh, tank, actually. Uh, 
I kind of want a pump going into each tank. But that is looking a little awkward, perhaps. What if we do it like this? And cosmic water is going to be slow. Don't have to worry too much about that. So we can just do it this way. And then... I didn't mean for this to be quite such a tight squeeze. Maybe I would have moved the whole thing over a couple of tiles. But it's probably fine. Seven, seven, five... Three, three, actually no, I want a pump facing this way. Um, how about if we go five and two? Well, this part might be a little different. Uh, I could put another pump there. Hmm. Is there a way for me to have a consistent pattern like this? I have my doubts. Oh, wait. Is that... is it that easy? Just seven and pump? looks like it. So that is two sections of pipe pump, two sections of pipe. No, we're one tile off. Uh, three sections of pipe pump, and then from then on it's pump, pipe, pump, pipe, pump, until it's two sections to go into the storage tank. One off, indeed. There's a table of fluid speed versus pumps. Nice. Uh, number of pipes between two pumps. We get 3,000 if it's only two. Uh-oh. So we actually have to limit it to two sections of pipe between each pump. Uh, that is very useful information. Thank you. Why can't I close my browser? What? Uh-oh. Um, about this. There we go. Okay, so this part is pretty good. Pipe, uh, pump, pipe, pump, pipe, uh, two sections of pipe before the pump with, is the maximum here. Uh, this is two. Oh, sorry. I guess it's like one, two, three, really? That might be a problem. Yeah, that might be ungood. Um, well, we can only do what we can do here. How about this? That's eight. So, apart from this where we've got three sections of pipe between a big storage tank and a pump. Uh, everything else is only two sections of pipe. 
I can't do better without changing the shape of the spaceship. This will have to do. And then... We can't exactly just copy-paste flip this. But I suspect... Uh, something like this? Yep, there we go. That should give us... This part's going to be slightly different. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six tiles here. And that's terrible. One, two... Alright, let's just put that there first. One, two, three, four. I mean, I could always just double pump it there. Triple pump it. Oh, oh my lord. The aesthetic. The horror. There's no other way, though, right? If I do an underground, that's one, two, three, four, five. If I do this, that's one, two, three. We've already got it bottlenecked on three here, though. I think that's still, like, as the best we can do. Okay, so it'll have burst potential which will kick in when we start using this thing for a little while. Uh, we're going to have... five... two, three, four... that's going to be an even number no matter what. So let's just do it this way. And uh, remind ourselves that it doesn't have to be, the, the output doesn't have to be very fast. Are those walls for the spaceship? Uh, these ones? Yes. Costco Taquitos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's already only pumping at like 500 per second. Wait, what? But this... What? Oh no. Uh, it's probably because it's mostly empty. Yeah, got to take that into consideration as well. Okay, and then we need some cosmic water. Does that just happen to line up perfectly? It does. Very nice. Um, let's grab the logic from over here. Except I don't actually want to connect this yet. So that'll go there. And whatever fits here will be fine. On the other side, uh, we're going to do this again, I think. Don't suppose it's definitely not lining up. It's three tiles off. Uh, we'll do this again for symmetry. Actually, not really. 
I don't suppose this would line up. Not quite. I can move this down a bit so it looks more consistent. Or even... No, that doesn't work. Put that there. This goes here. And... 15 is sort of too long for this now. Alright, cool. That's going to be a little bit messy. I saw in the Discord you mentioned the general shape of spaceships. Were you looking for a different non-arrow-shaped design for a challenge, or were you worried about worried that that be the only viable design? Um, yeah, I haven't experimented with it yet, but just thinking about like late-game spaceships and trying to design them to go as fast as possible. Um, my guess was that it would like the way to go would probably be a giant triangle period um but i'm sort of hoping it's a bit more nuanced than that ultimately we'll see the thing is the wider it is the more asteroids you need to shoot down um also the bigger the ship the less you get out of each engine relatively but Maybe just the biggest possible ship with the most engines is what you need to go for for maximum speed. Maybe not. It's going to be a whole process, experimenting and figuring that out. Alright, so this is Chemical Gel Provider. Oh, this should be um, a pickup station, actually. And that's all we need. Actually, I should probably... Hmm. I want more storage here for chemical gel. That actually lines up perfectly here as well. But not here anymore. It's one or the other. Unless I put this here, which is... An asymmetrical horror. It's a little asymmetrical anyway. But more to the point, we can fit four train loads of um, chemical gel here. And I'll say that we can have four, uh, four trains queued up at the same time. The thing is... Um, so each of these can fit 25,000 fluid, and we're reading from all of them, but these tanks are never perfectly full, so they're at like 24,990 something eventually. Um, so we're never actually going to schedule four trains to pick this stuff, uh, pick this stuff up. Um, so what I could do is just add a little constant here. Pretend we've got like 20 chemical gel or something. Or maybe more like 50. 100? I don't know how much. Um, I'll put a little uh, add-on power pole here. And we'll be able to read from this. I'm actually curious to see what number we end up I'm not going to be able to read it, unless I get some arithmetic combinators in here and do modulus, which is the remainder of dividing something. If we've got 399,900 and something or other, um, it's going to tell us that we've got 399,000 no matter what. Uh, I'm just going to add a arithmetic combinator, and we're going to go 400,000 minus whatever's in these. Oops. 
Unfortunately, we can't read what's in the small pipes. 400,000 minus chemical gel output chemical gel. Uh, and once this is... If we, if we catch this being completely full, uh, this should tell us exactly how much uh, room is left in these tanks. And then I'll add a constant here so that when this thing is basically full, um, we're going to tell... we're going to be telling the station that it's actually full. With some experimenting, I think small triangle body with two bigger triangles attached. One from each side, like gondolas, could work too. Yeah, I was thinking if you have spikes that stick out, they're going to have to be, like, streamlined. Have you tried a catamaran design? What is that? Also... Oh, right, I haven't requested cosmic water yet. Uh, let's go for cosmic water. A whole bunch of that. And connect this over here. Cosmic water requester. Switch that on. And we should see this thing operating soon. I think we're ready to have our shuttle leave us. So let's do that. 3006. Just double check those are all right. So once this thing is really empty, um, it's going to take off. Come to think of it... No, it is possible, theoretically, that this ship will come here with not quite enough liquid rocket fuel to go home. So I will put... Um, I guess we don't need liquid, liquid rocket booster tanks here. It's a bit much. I'm just going to request... Whoops. Request a bit of liquid rocket fuel. Because we only need to... How much liquid rocket fuel does it take? I think I limited this earlier. Nope, I didn't. I'm just filling it up. Okay, then. No, wait, I did limit it over here. Liquid rocket fuel less than 7.5k in one of the tanks. And probably the exact same thing on the other side. In fact, I can just copy probably all of this. Plus or minus a couple of pieces of pipe. Uh, that's actually... Slightly out of place, but that's okay. We're not going to need this one. Uh, so all we're doing here is making sure there's enough liquid rocket fuel for it to get back to Nalvis. And nothing else, because liquid rocket fuel being shipped up here is a little more expensive. Um, I think we have to go all the way down here. Do we have a 3B? Is that going to fit? That's good. And 
fantastic. Uh, wait, that's not... You know what, maybe I'll leave that there. We're hardly ever going to have trains bringing liquid rocket fuel here. So a couple of... Hey, there's our chemical gel. Fantastic. Why don't we have it on this side? Because the petroleum never got down here. Because we didn't bring a whole lot of it. Okay. So what do we have here? 459? And we're waiting till it gets down to 10. Maybe for this build, we should send the ship back when it is less empty. Because it will take a while of reading one of these tanks to get all the way down to 10. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, let's say when this is less than 500. Oh my, 20 UPS? We, we have 22 UPS. It's totally fine. But yeah, it's a good thing this playthrough is relatively close to the end. Um, okay, so our petroleum shuttle number two... It's going to have to come back with lots of petroleum. Uh, that might take a little while. In fact, I should have made a bigger... Maybe I should have made a bigger storage for it here. But I didn't sort of see just how high throughput we would end up going with any of the fluids. I don't mind this build though. It's not the worst. Alright, so that should resolve our uh, chemical gel issues. I do want to do another build for Ion Stream with beacons. I guess I would like to just use the blocks that we've already got for that. Except we're going to have to move some machines around. Let's bring our construction spiders close by, and scaffolding spiders back to the mall. How is our deep space science looking? I think it's done on this end, and here as well. Actually no, we've still got Naquium ingots in here. So we're bottlenecked on Ion Stream, which is the stuff we're working on right now. Hmm. We've got plenty of horizontal space here. It should be... It should be pretty trivial to add a few beacons to this build, except we've got a bunch of resources in motion. I'll cut off the supply of stone and copper. And I guess chemical gel. And once that's emptied out a little bit. I don't really I don't think I need to add um that this is petroleum here on the map. What's this? Oh, the old blue science build. I haven't 
cleaned that one up either. That might have been a little... Well, no, if I was going to rely on train deliveries, that would have been a good spot to do our chemical gel build. But for now, it's fine. Alright, going to take a little break here. Uh, back in just a few minutes. Let's fire up the words on stream. And we'll start in about 30 seconds. Oh, wait, let me put on LTN screensaver first. There we go. Hold on. Do we not have... Copy link... There it goes.
a test. Touche. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Sorry about the first one, I started it a bit quicker than I meant to. Uh, A T T E S T. Yeah, you did. I don't get it. Uh, thank you for the follow, Crado. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, autopilot off. Back to Factorio, and this thing's still going, actually. Huh. Um, we might have to waste a bit more stuff than I wanted to, unless we want to wait a long time, which is a different kind of waste. I wonder if I could just leave half of this where it is, and we'll grab our... where are our beacons? Grab our beacons and... How many machines is this? Nine. Just has to be an odd number, doesn't it? We could definitely... Oh, I probably made it nine because of the amount of... Nope. I have no idea why I put nine of these here. Um, well, let me put down a beacon and we'll see what kind of rate we're going to get out of these. Um, I do want... Uh, I do want efficiency, because this block is going to be really power expensive. Uh, so this is negative 80%, and still negative 80%. There we go. So we're going for... Uh, seven speed modules. Um, we have no copper already. I can actually... I can actually already beacon this side without changing anything. So let's maybe do that. How many machines is this? Six on each side. Why is that? I don't think there's any reason. Um, if anything, we'll adjust this because of the adjustment to the rate from uh, Plasma Stream. Um, so, if we put speeds in these, that's going to get peak and sickness, but I want to see how fast this will go. Um, I want to fit 10 of these vertically, just because it's an even number, we're going to have two beacons and there's a little bit of wasted space. So if we go 40 of these, that is still only 8.3 stone per second. Uh, even the output plasma stream is relatively slow. I might throw some pumps in for the output, though, just in case. Um, I could use pick a dollies for most of this. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. We'll have to pick up a bunch of stone. Get this out of the way. So, if this goes here, it does reach both of those. If we move all of these over four tiles, 
There's plenty of room. Um, they are seven tiles tall and wide. We've got like at least a few tiles that we're not using over here. I don't remember why I have that. It was probably just thrown in temporarily. Let's uh, move this up here. That's not quite right. Space underground pipe. And I might just put you over there for now. And we can see more clearly how many tiles we can save here. Uh, Mike Lad, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Once again. How's your stream today? It's Mike's fault? Is it though? Silent Shaz. Oh, the Shaz. Welcome, welcome, Shaz. Hope you're doing well. Was great. Fantastic. What did you get up to? Um... I think I'm going to be pickering many dollies right now. Let's go with this. Use the nav set. Wait. Is this thing superfluous? Then we should easily be able to fit another one here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, why don't we rotate you like so? And this goes here. Um, that. That pipe doesn't actually connect here. Okay. We're gonna waste a whole lot of time if I do all of that. Let's just pick this stuff up. Bring the construction spiders in. And I'll copy, paste, flip all of these. We will be wanting some seven pipe, like so. Uh, where's the middle? One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Seems good. Why am I? Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to need that there. This can go here. And actually, that could be a 3B. Oh, wait. This is going to need a gap, though. Okay. Let's copy... Wait, before I do copy-paste that... We're going to put our outputs here. And some belt. How much would half of this produce? 172 per second. Is that all? Oh wait, we haven't speed moduled all of these yet. 
Uh, so what are these called? Plasma generators. And we need some speed sixes in all of these machines. Glad I'm finally getting around to this update. Fun bombing a planet? Uh-oh. Artillery ing artillery ing Nalvis, all of Nalvis, indeed. You gotta have a clear Nalvis. Who needs spiders distracting you when you're trying to do something like this? Um so that's how output fluid. I think it got mixed up with the input fluid. Uh can we fix it? What do we to what do we have to resort to to fix it? And go. Wait, this part it's gonna try and steal all of this, isn't it? Yeah, so this pipe right here needs to be um, not the same as what we have here, unless we're going to change this bit, which might be better, actually. Can we move all of these down a tile? Well, not that one, obviously. Can we move everything up slightly? Probably. Uh, we didn't get all our speed modules, though. I want to see how much we're getting. 416 per second. I think that is slow enough that we... Well, it's going to be over 800 for the whole thing. Um, why don't we put... You here? That's almost good. And I think I'll just put a 3B here, one of these here. This can go back up here. And then... Uh, we need to copy all of this right about there. And this on this side should be fine. I don't think we need that pipe connected, actually. Uh, let's make sure we skip every other one like so. And this is going to go here. Fantastic. Six tiles, that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, there's still 0, 0.0 plasma string. Wait, what? Is this not connected? It is not connected. Also, this doesn't. What happened? Everything's one off. No. It goes down there, actually. Uh, 
Uh, so how much are we going to get out of this? We've got 40 machines. And when they've all got the right modules. We're looking at 833 plasma stream per second. On this side, we can consume 750 of that. We do need some uh, plasma stream for other things as well. So I think I'll just leave this as it is. Simply add some beacons on it uh, to it on the side. And... That's the input. Can I not pump more of this over here? Apparently not. I can't fit a pump in here, unfortunately. Alright, we're just gonna... We're just gonna kill a little bit of plasma stream here. That's enough of that. Okay. Uh, just for the consistency of the look, I'm gonna do this. And... 9, 10, 11. Or I could change how this part is done. I would like to put a 7 here. That makes that one 4. That's unfortunate. Move this over a tile. Make that a 5. Make that a 7. And then I think we've got... Don't tell me that's two tiles in there. Oh, I think our spiders are out of range. Let's bring them over this way. Obviously going to need this to go further over here. Maybe a fiver. Oh, that's good. Wait, no it's not. I would prefer... How do we keep getting plasma stream in here? I think I would prefer it if we can do it like this. It's much more consistent looking. That is, of course, four tiles, though. Hmm. Oh well. undergrounds. We don't have to go that fast with the chemical gel. 83.3 at max speed. It's gonna be fine. Alright, so a 3 be here, and then 9, 10 tiles. As long as it doesn't line up with this thing. Should be fine. Apparently we need some more plasma generators, but I'm guessing they're in the trash slots of some of these spiders. Yep. Wait, I can actually just do this. Interesting. And there's one more missing.
I don't suppose we're gonna find that one more machine here somewhere. Alright, let's send the spiders back for a moment. To the mall. And hopefully they come back with plenty of speed modules as well. I should check if they're going to. No, we have no speed modules here because they all get shipped over here first. So let's have the spiders swing back this way, and then to the mall, and then back here. Okay. I think we're ready to reconnect our inputs. So that's 83 chemical gel per second. Our last build, theoretically, oh, can give us a thousand at peak. Cool, cool, cool. Just one of these can give us 139 per second. I dare say that'll be enough. At least for a while. And here comes the stone. Uh, so I think that's it. I think that is our updated build. Once the spiders get back and finish it, obviously. Hey Raman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good day T Hacks and chat, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Pretty good, thank you. Alright, I have another one of these builds that I need to update. Um, first of all, we're just going to put this here. I already put the speed modules in these things, although the um, uh, plasma stream can't actually keep up consistently. I almost forgot to fix this belt. And so we didn't move any, no, we did move all of this, didn't we? We moved it quite a bit, actually. I'm not going to worry so much about preserving the resources this time. Although I will go to the trouble of rescuing this 12,000 chemical gel. Oh, I made that mistake again. And if I copy-paste all of this... Hopefully it should all line up this time. I see a little bit of red. Oh, that's a signal that we haven't updated since we learned better. And this one. Anything else that doesn't match? Uh, just a couple of signals here. Weirdly enough, half of that block got updated in that way. So 
Space pipe to ground is in the way. Oh, it's this one? I think that got moved up there, maybe? Yep, there we go. That looks like it. Oh, what a... Wait, what? Oh, the plasma stream output. Oh, I didn't fix this part. Okay. Which means I probably copy-pasted that down there. Cool, cool, cool. Let's bring the spiders over. Hey, good Chen. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that... All of that should hopefully... Why are we not getting plasma stream up here? Zero. That doesn't seem right. We're not even pumping it this way. Is this not connected somehow? What? Okay, that was weird. Let's make sure we're not getting the same weirdness over here. This looks fine, actually. Um, what's with these two pieces of pipe? I think those were just an oversight. Some bot network is going to pick that up. Oh, I see why those got pasted there. I probably had to copy-paste rotate this because it can't be flipped. Alright, let's send the spiders back for more stuff again, I guess. Uh, back to the mole first this time, actually, since it's so very close. And then back over here to pick up speed modules. And hopefully that will be our build completed. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, where's my spider? I'm riding it, actually. Where are you taking that? Wherever, that's fine. Right then. I wish I could set this as normal priority for everything else, but low priority for the ion stream. Uh, once again, this is something that the only way I can think to do that on the one station is to have uh, basically a timer giving separate signals to LTN. And I just don't want to implement that in places like this. We do need Ion Stream up here, though. How fast does this actually go through Ion Stream? 6.2k per second. Except we've only got quite a lot, actually, of data left to make here. How fast are we making Ion Stream now? It should be 1.5k per second. Well, that's nowhere near enough to support this build. Even like this being the entire base's Ion Stream supply. Uh, whoops. It's probably fine. 
probably. So that'll, that'll take a little while to catch up in any case. Um, I need to get this stuff delivered. That, that stuff's already prepared. I think if I just set this temporarily to a provide stack threshold of 1, that's going to be all it takes. There's only one place for this to go. And I just want to change that back as soon as I see that a train has been scheduled. Naquium Structural Data. Oh, here it is. I should have been looking at this one. Actually, no, I think we should see a yellow light here as well. Yeah. Alright, so back to normal for you. Um, and then the only thing that we're waiting for is to get the rest of our Naquium Energy Data. I guess that is going to take... What can we research in the meantime? Um, Antimatter engines. We're going to get antimatter production with only a thousand. Uh, that is like 500, 600 data. About oh, 550 data. We've got 200... 338, over 400. We don't quite have enough to get anything except for uh, Naquium Cube. I guess I could make a Naquium Cube build while we're waiting on things. So why don't we get that started? I may as well queue up the antimatter engines, actually. Since that's what we're going for first. And... How many of these computers do we have? Seven. Well, that's seven more than zero. Let's go place them. Don't steal them from me, please. Thank you. Two, four, uh, six, actually. I might just add another six and nothing else. So that should all line up the same way. Two, four, and six, except that's where that stops. Oh. I think we are going to get, like, a couple of data cards stuck in here at the end. It's fine. Here comes our train with our second last resource. What's the train limit here? It should definitely not be one. As much as these trains aren't going to come here that often, uh, even at maximum throughput. Uh, construction spiders have done their thing. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we've got... If we're making Ion Stream at full speed, 750 per second, while also gaining 83 Plasma Stream per second. Uh, and that's double. So 1.5k per second. So about... Uh, 66 seconds for every ion stream delivery. It's 
not too bad. I think I might put some... Oh. I don't have any more efficiency modules. Uh, okay, let's go grab some more then. I was going to say I would put some more efficiencies in here. Weren't these going to be very slow though? Point six nine. Uh, let's call it point seven per second. That's with maximum speed. Uh, modules. Five point five seven three per second with eight machines. That is actually pretty slow. Oh, and. Where's the output? Here it is. Uh, I might jump down the stack threshold so that we can get some research done once we've got some... Uh, once we've got some catalogs. And here they come. Ooh. I kind of like the look of the uh, neural supercomputers when they're working. Healthy green glow. And there it is. Our first deep space catalogs. How many catalogs do we need? I think it's like 50, right? To get our first research done. Yeah. I'm just going to drop this stack threshold down to one for now. All right. Wasn't this train here before? I could be imagining things. Uh-oh. Are you stuck? Doesn't look like it. Well, no. Well, this train should be able to go this way, but it might be... There's no train stops in the way, so it probably will leave that way. Oh, never mind. Yep, there we go. Okay, they're not stuck. Fantastic. Are you two stuck? Uh, that would appear to be a yes. I don't know when you thought... Oh, wait, never mind. My bad. One belt is missing in the Deep Space Catalog Factory. Uh, I did limit the belts there while we've still got a limited build. So, yes, there it is. Thank you. And now we have some modules. Let's head back there. I also need... I'm surprised we only had seven more of these, actually. Um, it does cost an insane number of processing units, and actually we're bottlenecked on advanced neural gel right now. But, um, also 100 bioelectric data. Jeez, these are expensive. Um, but yeah, I do want to replace our junk data card build with the neural supercomputers. So that we can get the, uh... Oh, I can't really swap the recipe without ejecting cards here. Uh, so that we can get the, I think it's 90%, yeah, here we go. 90% blank data card recycling. 
Not to mention it's faster. Uh, Revan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And here... Oh, we've got a train taking them away. I think this is the first one. Here it comes. Products finished, zero. Oh. Oh, I haven't updated... It, it doesn't matter yet, but I haven't updated the uh, filters on these. And here comes our first deep space science. Wait, we also need an aquarium plate. Psych. Uh, where is our Nacrian plate? Here it is. We've actually got quite a bit already. I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose, I swear. Uh, and we need some ingot tag. Right about here. Um, let's force this one to take off. I was about to hit the applause button. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it would have come automatically eventually, but it's quite a lot of plate, uh, quite a lot of naquium that we need to reach that threshold. Okay. We are making plate constantly now. It would appear. What's our rate? A whopping 3.2 per second. Oh, but... I don't believe I've seen... No, I already rate calculated this. The fifth industrial furnace will be off sometimes. But that's okay. Have we actually reached the point where... Oh good, it is waiting on Iron Stream. I don't think... I don't know if we've actually reached the point where this processing block is too slow. Oh, here we are. Fantastic. Beacon can have some efficiency modules. Uh, that's still triple power consumption. Let's go for one more of these. That is... normal, actually. Because there's more speed modules in these things. Uh, that's minus 80. So how fast is this? 3.7 per second. Fantastic. And how fast does this machine consume? Uh, only 1.742 per second, actually. Well then. Missing inserters for the output? Uh, yes, good point. Let's do those in pairs. Do we have our plate? We do. Should have a train... Uh, because I haven't renamed these stations, they're just spaceship pickup. Uh, I haven't actually... I can't actually tell if a train is coming here. It seems to be getting more common that we don't get the uh, the light going yellow, but I think that was at specific stations. Let's see. Provide stack threshold 480. I think that means it has to be full um, before it summons a train so that we make sure it's balanced. We're not going to be doing that. Uh, so yeah, we do have a couple of train loads here. Um, at least. A, a bit more than a couple. Seven stacks per chest is more than a train load. 
and we've got almost 14. And there it is. That's copper. Is it this one? Here, here it comes. And there's only one place where that could be going. Alright, for real this time, we're about to get our first deep space science. Uh, where did I put it? Here it is. Waho science, indeed. And then we get to build Naquim cubes. I guess I could make a start. Three physical, one fluid, and two of those physicals are much slower than the other. If we can put Naquim plate on one half of the belt, um, I would like to do a little fancy build there. I think I definitely want to put this build here, nice and close to the uh, nano material. And also, we just happen to have this blank spot here. Did I not update the station name? No, I did. We've got two trains coming here at the same time. Both of them are picking up Naquium Plate. Oh, cool, cool. Let's get some scaffolding. And do we still not... Oh, there it is. It just didn't update the map. Yeah, this build's kind of a fail in terms of throughput. These little pumps are going as fast as they can. But we're still not using half of these machines. Really, I would have to uh, redesign this ship just to have enough throughput to keep up with this. 2.7k on each side. And this is mostly full and we're already down to 1700. I think I'll just... This will be enough, I think. Um, but I think I'll just be happy with... Having the burst uh, of chemical gel when and if we need it. I don't think neck plate throughput will be the issue. Not for a while. Oh, here it is. Products finished. 23. That was quick. I mean, that's the nature of these builds. And we have it in the chest. Why don't we set... Um, ride stack threshold to one. Actually, I think I only... Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh, not gonna be... Cr not gonna be correct and useful for now. Um, let's add our usual constant combinator. Where is it? I'm just gonna put it over here this time, actually. And we're just going to pretend to have an infinite amount of uh, Deep Space Science Pack 2. Uh, and that's going to allow this thing to output... Oh, it's actually purplish. I thought it was just black. It looks black here, but on the belt it's a little bit purple. Um... Yeah, because we're trying to balance the four types of deep space science in these chests. Um, in order to keep all of that circuitry in place, we're just going to fake that we've got a million um, tier two deep space science packs for now. So I think I might have calculated it so that we could get a hundred of these, so that we could at least do Naquim Cube for now. But I might have to 
that's not going to be one stack. So what the? What? Oh no. <laughs> LTN <laughs> thinks that we've got Deep Space Science back tier two because of this constant combinator. Okay, let's let's disconnect that for now. And send you on your merry way. And then we'll use a red wire to connect this. So that it doesn't cross-contaminate all the way down here. Products finished, 82. Uh, I think we probably have enough catalogue to get to 200, though. Alright. Uh, either way, let's get started on... That's a weird... oversight with that scaffolding. Uh, let's get started on a build for Naquim Cubes. This here, that goes there, and we'll probably do the usual for the output. Wasn't it just... yeah, it was one solid for output, wasn't it? Uh, wait, let's check FNEI. Cube. Uh... What? No, that's singularity data. Okay. Yeah, Naquim Cube is like a straightforward recipe. Which always feels weird this late into space exploration. Uh, we need some material fabricators. Do we even have those? No, we don't. How do we make a material fabricator? Um, I don't actually have my construction spiders handy. Can we make it in a space manufactory? Yes, we can. Oh, we actually need the tier 6 modules. Okay. Um, I might have to deliver some. I need to come up with a way to make sure there's some tier 6 modules left in this block before they all go over here. But I also want to have lots of them over here. Um, and I want them to be able to be provided from here. Yeah, I can't really win with that. Well, in any case, I can... It's a lot of bots. I don't really have a combinator where this fits. I guess this is it. Fabricator. And we'll go for... I don't know, 50? How expensive is it? It is kind of expensive. Uh, we need six, I think it was. No, five of... We need ten tier six modules. Not to mention the other stuff. This is the real cost right here. Um, but yeah, if I just reset that timer... One of these should be trying to make... Wait, what? Did I not add that right now? It is switched on. And it is connected. Material Fabricator, 50. But I only see... It's not like we have Material Fabricators here. 
Constant Combinator is switched on. It is connected. We're trying to make 3,000 ammo, 94 bots, 50 material fabricators, and so on. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was weird. Uh, so we just need to drop off some modules. I think I'll just personally shove some in there for the moment. Make the wire red, indeed. Of course, it's going to have to cross to all these other inserters, or I could just put another constant combinator on the other side when we go up the tiers. Actually, yeah, it's only one of these signals that we're going to need until we can make the last tier of science. So we can just put it on the opposite side later. Products finished. 260. Nice. And here comes, I believe, our first uh, delivery of... Nope. We have 200 here. I think I had just not yet put uh, deep space signs here. I want it to be all synchronized. So what if... Get rid of the inserters. Do we not have a buffer chest? Okay, that's fine. I'll copy this here. We'll go back to the mall. Paste it down. And we're going to add the requests for deep space science packs. I don't think... I, I'm sure I would have done it earlier if I could. I don't think I can set requests for stuff that we can't make yet. Which is why, ages ago, the free weapons that we got from the orbital, uh, from the satellite, I think it was a bloat burst gun, a bio gun, and a cryo gun. Uh, I was very carefully making sure I kept those in specific places, because if I lost them, the logistic network wouldn't bring them back. Unless... I want to check something. Does auto trash... Let me request... Oh, it does! Very nice. That is a nice feature for uh, auto trash. But in our... Huh. Well then. I'm surprised I didn't do this sooner. I just, I could have sworn I remembered, like, having to wait until I had a science pack before I could set a request for it, but maybe I'm wrong, or maybe auto trash changes it or something. I don't know how, I don't know if a mod could mess with this in particular. Alright, so we're going to cut that. Wait, did that have science packs in it? It did. We've got random science packs here. I need to get those back to the, uh, back to where they belong. Alright, we're going to copy-paste that. And here. And here, and here. And here, and here. Cut. And simultaneous signs. Fantastic. Oh, that was quick. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Cool. That is our first Deep Space Science complete. Did we get any um, material fabricators yet? No, because I would have had to... I came here to do exactly this. 
There we go. We can at least make a start now. Okay. Uh, come to think of it. Wait. No. Uh, we'll sort that out later. I'm going to take a short break. Let's have a look at Nalvis for the screensaver. And fire up the old... Uh, words on stream. And go.
and time. Alright, let's see how y'all did. Very nice. And back to the Factorio. Off with the autopilot. And back to... where were we? Oh yeah, that's right, we just got some deep space science going. Um, wait, what happened to our... Oh, I didn't turn off the... We actually got 15% of the way into antimatter engines. Um, I guess I shouldn't be that shocked. We're only waiting on Naquim energy data, which is to say we're waiting on lots and lots of ion stream um, to get to antimatter engines. Um, I think for now I will just request fabricators for myself. Um, all of them please. And where are they? On the way for. Oh, here they come. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can do. We're going to start with a requester station for sure. Let's bring our construction spiders over. Actually, let's have them visit the mall first. And then head over here. I forgot to put a tag on this. Uh, so this is interstellar void probe data. Is the whole point of this block. Rail, derail, drill, idle, died? Imagine a custom words on stream with Factorio names only. Interesting. Uh, to what extent can we customize it? Uh, so what other thing? Oh yeah, we got the fabricators, of course. And Naquim cubes, I think, was the prerequisite for that as well. Which is weird, because it's an intermediate product um, that we don't need to make the fabricators. But we need the fabricators to make the Naquim cube. You'd think... Uh, the order of those prerequisites would be the other way around. So let's see, we've got three physical items and one fluid in, and just a physical item out. It takes 10 seconds per recipe. 16 Naquium plate. I doubt we're going to just do a half belt for Naquium plate. So it's probably just going to be really simple. Uh, one belt for Naquim plate, half belt for each of the other two resources. Uh, so let's put down a couple of these. Oops. Probably put a beacon in the middle. We could fit 12 under a beacon. These things are quite big. Oh yeah. This is also what we use to make uh, matter fusion. We need fusion test data, which, well, we need 1% of a fusion test data to turn 50 particle stream into whatever plus some contaminated scrap. Um, but I don't think it's a very good deal, probably. Uh, where do we make particle stream again? Particle stream... 
Material testing pack, sand, plasma stream. Yeah, this all traces back to just basic resources. There's no exotics needed for particle stream. So I guess you can turn lots and lots of basic resources into a little exotic, but I don't know if that's worth it. Um, but yeah, this is what we're looking for. Also, this is where we make antimatter, which is literally just... I mean, it looks like it just... It's just cooled down particle stream. Uh, as far as we're concerned. Wait, we could be doing that right now. Okay, we're definitely doing that soon. Um... In fact, why don't I take... We've got half a block right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll build it here. This will be our antimatter. Antimatter stream is going to go here. Um, we should probably... Antimatter canister. It takes super cold thermo fluid to empty an antimatter canister. That makes things a bit more complicated. If we're going to use that. Maybe we just won't. Uh, but yeah, antimatter itself. We just need two fluids in, two fluids out down here. Okay. Spiders have arrived. Uh, anyway, let's focus. Nequim cube. Uh, we've got just the one fluid input and three solids in, one solid out. Uh, but I wanted to know how fast it would be. If we go for efficiency... Wait, can I not put speed modules? This doesn't take modules of any kind. Interesting. That's unexpected. I mean, we did have to put 5 speed and efficiency in these to build them in the first place, but uh... Yeah, this is like... I think this is the first machine I've seen like this. Not much power usage either. Hey, Maholic. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you do. What? That's a, that's a lot of power consumption, actually. Minimum is 8.3 megawatts. That's when it's sitting idle. Uh, what is it called again? A fabricator. 33 megawatts are being consumed by these fabs. That seems like a lot. Uh, of course, that's not going to change while we don't have the beacon there. Max consumption 258 mega. Does it not get affected by beacons? It is not affected by beacons. Fascinating. Beacons do nothing for buildings without the module slots. Yeah, evidently. Well then. That does mean we can go for whatever layout we like. But, um... I think the layout's going to be pretty obvious for this one. Uh, let's see. One of these machines consumes 6.4 Naquium plate per second. We need at least a stack inserter, possibly two, to keep up with that. Um, so there's really only one thing to do with the belt. Um, the Naquium plate 
comes in here. And the other stuff is on a long arm inserter. I'd like layout in a shape of a heart. Okay, that's a bit much. I remember my surprise too, indeed. Uh, how many output? 0.4 per second. And... Hmm. Well, on the plus side, we can easily rate calculate this, even if we don't have modules on us. I would like to just, if I can, uh, build this to spec as if we're going to go as fast as possible in one block. And then I'll just trim it down in the meantime. So, let's say we go for either I think 8 is probably a bit much. Let's say we go for 12 of these in one half block. Uh, that is two belts of Nequium plate. It's not that bad, actually. Could we even go for 24? Eh, not really. Let's just say it's 12. I doubt we're going to go that far. Especially with how power expensive these are, my goodness. Um, yeah, so 12 of these, two belts of Naquium plate, one on each side, and just a very small amount of Vulcanite blocks and nano material. And don't forget the fluid, which is Pretty much trivial. In fact, why don't I put the fluid input on the output side? It'll be a little bit neater, I think. Since we can just have the fluid output uh, input rather in the middle. and the item output at the edge. This goes over here. And then let's copy paste that all the way down. Uh, we will need a fluid input station as well, which I might put on the side. Plenty of room for that here. What's that last build I did? I think I, uh, I think I added more rail than we really needed. It's probably fine. Uh, so. We only have a single physical output. I get the feeling... Okay, even if we do 12 of these... That's only 4.8 per second. What do they stack to? Say 1. 8. That is a weird stack size, but okay. So we're looking at more than half of a stack per second, uh, which means about five minutes to fill a train. Of course, we're going to need a lot of Naquium plate to make that happen. Should I just do a short train for this? Probably not. I decided to do like a short train for superconductive cable and ended up regretting it, so 
Let's just do this like usual. Um, we can definitely fit one more of these. Wait, what? Oh, I typoed. Uh, 14 is actually slightly less than a saturated belt of Naquium plate. And everything else is going to stay the same. Seven on each side, though. Odd numbers. How, how could we do such a thing? Alright, so this is going to go over here. We're going to go stack size 1. Since our max rate is so low, we may as well do precise loading. Uh, precise balancing here. Um, we're going to need this right about here. I actually don't know if we do need the double stack inserters. But I'll just lay things out for now. Alright, so this is the space that we'll be taking up um, if and when we expand things this much. And don't forget the belt down the middle. Alright, so first of all... Um... What am I looking at? The wrong thing. 90 per second. I think I'll do that one towards the middle. And we need less than one belt. Uh, less than half a belt for vulcanite block and nano material. So I think we'll just borrow this for this side. Filter inserters. And can we preserve which side of the belt things are on and merge this down here? I don't think there's any reason to. I'm curious if we can, though. Uh, yeah, we could. But I don't really see the point. It's gonna look weird anyway. Let's put this here. And one, two, three. This way, actually. And bring this down here. Uh, fluid is going to come from here. I'm going to put those signals there first so I can measure this properly. That's our usual spot. I really should have done like a standard fluid pick up and drop off by now. But it doesn't take very much to build it. Space pipe. Pumps go this way. And actually just connect this over here. 
the even if we build the maximum number of these, we only need 153 particle stream per second. Uh, so that's not going to be much of an issue. Could move this up or down slightly, but there's no need. There's no reason. Uh, I don't think we're going to need a lane balancer, considering we're going to be using the full throughput from this. If we build this whole thing, though, which we probably won't. Um, how much are we going to be consuming here? 25 per second. Let's go for a lane balancer then. Actually, I wonder if I can come up with a nice compact lane balancer that does a 180. So we need three splitters. The first one so that stuff can go left or right. Uh, one at the end to merge it, and another one... One of these has to go straight through. The other one has to give items on the belt the opportunity to swap sides. And then they merge back in. And that's how a lane balancer works. The most compact one I've made is for a corner, since we just go like this. And I'm wondering if I can pull off something here. Probably. Maybe. It's not as height as I was hoping for. I could put this up here and then it would just take up more room up this way. I can't really move this up a tile. Hmm. We can either use this space here or this space here. I don't think there's going to be that much improvement over that design. And as for you... Uh, we need an underground here, actually. Move the red spider. And don't forget to connect this part. Uh, so this is going to be Naquim Plate. That's going to get the full throughput treatment of two belts and go to the inner belt where the stack inserters are going to be. Um, and then on this side we've got nanomaterial and vulcanite block. And vulcanite block. And then here we have reading belt contents, read hand contents hold, and usually for just one item we say everything equals zero, so all of these swing at the same time. Um, but here we're just going to change that to nano material for these three. And 
and Vulcanite block. For these three, that's going to give us a combinatorless balanced unloader. Uh, that balance assumes that they're going to be balanced when they're put in in the first place. So if we only have a full train come here, then these chests will always be balanced per resource. And we're going to get nanomaterial on this side of the belt, vulcanite blocks on this side. And we're obviously not using a lane balancer there because that's going to mess everything up. It's looking good. I think we're just about ready. Alright, so... I'm going to delete all of this and all of this and all of this and this and this and this. I might just test whether we actually need more than one stack inserter for the Naquium plate as well. And we have to connect. That wire. Or this wire for that matter. Uh, we're not needing a stack request threshold. We are needing particle stream. Particle stream. Just a small amount. As in, because th the throughput is low enough, we're not going to summon a train until we get down to 20,000. I think we're ready to switch that one on. And connect these wires. Connect there. Connect here. This is going to be called Nequim Cube. Provider. Did we get the signals? Yeah, we did. And this one is going to be requesting... What is the stat to? 50 and 100. Uh, since the consumption rate for these two is going to be so low... Less than six per second if we go for the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to go for 10,000 nanomaterial and 18,000 vulcanite block. So that's 2,000 above the size of a train load. That, we're going to get down to 2,000 before we request some more. And Naquium Plate stacks to 20. Oh, I'm just realizing. Uh, 90 Naquium Plate per second is 4.5 stacks per second. Which means... Uh, 3200 over 90. Which means we're going to go through a train load in... 35 seconds. That's if we build this thing all the way down. Dark Explosive. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, let's... We've got room for 7.2 train loads of Naquium Plate here, but it's pretty precious for now. Um, so I think I'll just ask for... Ooh, we're at 69% on Antimatter Engine. Nice. We're just waiting on lots and lots and lots of iron. And I do mean lots. Um, 
I think I will set this priority lower than normal to make sure Iron Stream gets everywhere else first. Are we going to want to have this going at full tilt constantly? No, I seriously doubt it. I'm just I'm just building it out so that if we do find that we want more, we can really easily expand it. Or is it just good rule of thumb to avoid bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's really just trying to future-proof this a little bit. That's weird. Do we not have particle stream? Particle stream, particle stream. Does whatever a particle stream. We have no plasma stream. Uh-oh. How fast does this consume plasma stream? 250 per second. Uh, and I set each of these blocks to net produce 83 per second. That's if we're making ion at full speed, which we are. Um, so it might be a little while. I mean... Hmm... I haven't actually got... I wish I could fit a pump here. Maybe I should have... Uh, I hate to say it, but maybe I should move all of this up a tile. Much spiders, indeed. No, I would have to move it up two tiles if I'm gonna fit a pump here. I could put it... If I move it all up one tile, I could put a pump here. Or I could just, you know... Put a pump here and underground pipe this over here, and that would be a bit awkward looking, but... The only thing that would be much of a bother to move is the underground belt. But yeah, um... I guess this thing is... It shouldn't matter because we can produce the particle stream faster than we consume it. But the fact that this can take from here might be bad occasionally. But it's nothing that won't sort itself out anyway. One off, indeed. Okay. Uh, I want to make this lower priority because I want to prioritize the science for... The Nacrium plate. We already delivered it all anyway. Uh, how much Nacrium plate do we have at the science block? I want to make sure we get the antimatter engines first. If I can. Oh, zero. Perfect. Okay then. Uh, priority... Actually, instead of making this negative, why don't I just make this one positive? It already is. Okay, never mind. So we're looking for vulcanite block, nanomaterial, and I forget. 20, stack size 20. So, 160 times 20, 3200 for a train, that's not much. Uh, why don't we double that, 6400 for now. So if we're down to one train load, we're summoning another train. So theoretically, if the base can support full throughput, um... As long as we don't have too low of a train limit. That should be able to keep things going. Uh, why don't we switch that on? Nano. Block. And plate. I said plate. And I might just turn this around temporarily so that if the plate comes while we're not watching, we can just look over here, turn this around, and 
we can see if one stack inserter is enough to take 6.4 off a belt per second. I think it probably is. How much do we have aquium plate wise? Not a whole lot. Uh, in fact, I can see it here. We've got 3.2k. That's one train load. And over here we've got 345 Aquim ingots. That is slow. Oh. Oh, we're actually... Yeah, because I made sure that we produce Naquim ingots slightly faster than we turn them into plate. So even though I priority this to the plate, we already have enough ingots for... Uh, we already have enough ingots to get our antimatter engines, though. So I think I will build out... Let me make absolutely sure we've got the productivity modules. Uh, I don't see them. Are we not requesting them? Productivity... We're not. Okay. I need to update the... Instructor Tron template. Can I just... There we go. Uh... I'll get them all to look for a stack of those each. Same goes for speed. Uh, these are so expensive, I don't really want them all carrying, like... I think I just want the leader carrying some efficiency modules. I don't really use speed modules on the ground anywhere except for in beacons actually. So I'll have the leader... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't save it yet. Save. I'll have the leader also request speed and efficiency. And the rest of them. Just the template that we just made. There's our prods. Alright, so we're not going to waste any precious Naquitite on not having the prod modules put in. I've still got prods here. Okay, we still have four prods here, but that is more than zero. Uh, let's send this thing back to Nalvis Orbit for now. And... Engage. Do we have any more fabricators yet? I don't... I doubt it. Fabricator... no. We need to have um, speed and efficiency modules delivered here before they go over here. There's lots of them over here though. I would like to have... Um, a stockpile of tier 6 modules kept here, but also everything that's in the mall can be taken over here, and we're requesting tier 6 modules over here. Hmm. I could just... 
I could just make an exception that we don't deliver modules from the mall to uh, to that block. Where am I requesting modules here? That's a vanilla train stop. Actually, am I requesting modules there? This is a short train only. Um, I'm pretty sure short trains can stop here, actually. Yeah, here we go. 2.4k. That's a lot. Um, request priority 1. Alright, so all I need to do here, because we've got default provide threshold, uh, default request threshold is like a lot. Let's see, mod settings, uh, thousand, million, like a hundred million. If I just don't give it a request threshold, oh, uh, sorry, yeah, if I don't give it a request threshold, and I say negative a million for each of the tier 6 modules, that should result in... We would need to have over a million of these in this block before they would be offered to the rail network. And that should allow this thing to actually produce some material fabricators without me going out of my way to directly insert modules here. Okay. I'm surprised we don't have particle stream though. We need more plasma stream. Oh, we actually need more chemical gel already, which we did just make a build for, but we're waiting for more petroleum. Um, judging by this, we've run out. That's pretty bad. No, I think there's almost 100k petroleum here, hardly any here, almost none here, almost none here. Uh-oh. Not very much here, or here, or here, or here. And the new build, no doubt, not a whole lot of petroleum. Okay, so basically we're looking for obscene amounts of petroleum right now. Hmm. I don't suppose we have extra coal these days? Oh, we do. So does that mean coal liquefaction is happening? Hey, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we've only got the one thing sending coal into space. And it's just a single cargo landing pad, uh, which is actually a pretty significant bottleneck. So... Did I set this as a low priority? I did. I want to make sure coal gets into space, but do I really want to set it so that it's a low priority to put coal into space as opposed to anywhere on Nalvis? I 
Czech Republic imports coal from Australia if you're looking for coal. Give it back. Actually, we've got lots of coal right now. Um, and I do mean lots. We're probably deleting it. Oh, no, we've only got 12k here. It has to be at about 100k to tell us that we've been destroying coal lately. Um, but the storage is actually getting pretty close to full. Okay. Um, why don't we... I just realized there's something else I could have done with this build. No, the reason I'm thinking about sending coal up is so we can do coal liquefaction and get petroleum, but we'd be doing that with no um, productivity bonuses. I've got a couple of blocks doing coal liquefaction. I disabled the coal, didn't I? I think so. If coal is less than 49,000 output... Oh, we are requesting coal here. Request threshold 25,000. Request stack threshold 160. 8,000 coal. Oh, I switched this constant combinator off, that's why. Yeah, this was from when we didn't have any coal. Okay, so instead of switching it off, we're just going to set it to a low priority. Um, and that'll give us coal liquefaction, which will give us more petroleum and everything. We should see it being delivered here pretty soon. Um, let's double check this. We've got encoded network ID 2, so we're not throwing it in the trash. But I'm pretty sure that other station did not have an encoded network ID. Oh, this balanced loader is slowing things down. But then this is just for taking stuff out of storage. Normally the storage would be skipped if there's anywhere else this needs to go. Request priority negative 100. Um, so yeah. We should see coal getting delivered here pretty soon. That's oil. No, that's coal. Uh, yeah, here we go. How many trains are... Only one train is allowed to pick up from here at a time. That is perhaps suboptimal. We're only getting two stacks per second, though. Less than that. Um, there's about two train loads of coal here, though, almost. I've started using LTN for the first time on one of my saves, and I've got to say I'm very jealous of how space exploration lets you edit circuit network objects from anywhere. Oh yeah, that's actually huge. I could just imagine not being able to do this with LTN. That's actually scary now that I think about it. I'm glad I did... I, I'm glad I was using space exploration the first time. Uh, that I used LTN. I would even... I would even have to consider using long reach um, if I was to do a vanilla but with LTN playthrough. Uh, Black Op, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Apart from waiting on some Naquitite... And trying to figure out how to get a lot more petroleum. I also want... Um, hmm. I would like to have petroleum dropped off here as well. 
except I haven't really left room for it. I could do it here. I think that's a good idea. Let's do this. Uh, so we're going to need some circuit wire. Let's not step on the ships. Uh, we're going to need some circuit wire connected to these uh, pumps. And that's going to connect to the logistic train stop output. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's... If we were dropping off petroleum, we're going to get a signal signal of negative one petroleum. And if we're trying to pick something up, we're going to get a positive signal for how much of that thing that we want. So we're going to say chemical gel greater than zero on this side. And these ones are going to say... Petroleum less than zero. Yeah, it's great. I need it vanilla, and I have to copy it via blueprint. To me, adjusts and copies it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember doing that all the time. Uh, in a, I think, well, the playthrough before this, for example, um, I would, like, copy-paste a combinator, put it down here, edit it, cut and then look at it via the map, uh, and then paste over here. Of course, I couldn't mess with circuit wire remotely either. Well, I mean, you could, uh, with a similar procedure. If I put these two, um, here... And we've got something similar over here, but without the circuit wire. I can then copy-paste on top of that. But it's a workaround that requires a couple more steps than simply zooming in with navigation satellite. This is nowhere near full, and we're never going to see it full. Um, I'm just going to not worry about that for now. Okay. We should probably make a coal uh, spaceship, a shuttle that is. Let's do that here, I suppose. So let's try and remember, I don't even know how many steps this is, let's count. Step one, change the filters on the inserters. Step two, uh, update the station to request call, and figure out how much we need. Uh, we're going for eight train loads. No, I think I might... I might make it the rule instead that we have one ship at each of these. Like, we have coal here, some other resource here. Because I actually regret doing it this way because it takes twice as long, up, up to twice as long before a ship actually takes off uh, with resources here. It's okay for something that's really high throughput, kind of. But because the ships literally just teleport in and out, um, like they're much faster than trains swapping... Like, this train leaving the station, and another train coming in. So, I really shouldn't have built these shuttles in pairs like this. Uh, so this one's gonna be coal. And 16 chests is 4 train loads and change. So we're gonna say... Uh... 32,000 is our target for coal here. Um, and that's actually reading from the storage chest specifically, as opposed to the logistic network. 
Uh, so that's step one and two. Step three, we'll say, is to put the filters on these chests. Step four, set this combinator to about how much fits in 16 chests. 38,400. Um, because the bots occasionally under-deliver, like, and never fill a chest, um, we're going to set that just a little bit lower. Uh, so how many steps are we up to? One, two, three, four. Step five is to set the output signal on the spaceship clamps. I haven't decided on one for coal yet. Uh, item ID is 462. I'm pretty sure that number's not taken. Then again, wait. 129, 130. Let's just go 131. Sequential, like we've been doing. So 131. Step 5, complete. Uh, step 6. I don't know how many steps actually is involved in uh, building and configuring the spaceship. Is the spider almost here? Yeah, let's wait for it so we don't break the flow. Uh, something I definitely want to do. And I can probably do it with the set requests on buffer chests that I've started using, ever since I figured out a way to calculate what is in the ship. Um, I would like to make a version of these shuttles that takes far fewer steps to set up correctly. Have you seen my take on Bumblatron? Bumblatron? Is that the... Uh... The thing from Helios? Do you mean, uh... Bron Brontean Burbulator? Not sure if I explained it clearly. I didn't really have time to read it in detail today. The Spider Guy. Yeah. It's a pretty difficult name to remember. Uh, where are we up to? Spider has arrived. Okay, cool. So we have step one, two, three, four, five. Uh, configuring the brick shuttle is step six. Possibly more. Step six is setting the requests on the buffer chests in the ship. Get those wires out of the way. Uh, step seven is getting the clamp IDs. Uh, step eight is naming the ship. I think that's it. No, we got fish in here. How did we get fish in this block? The whole point of the fish signals is that we wouldn't actually have fish. It's just there as a placeholder. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight steps, arguably. Nine if we count naming the shuttle. And then in orbit, uh, we don't actually have a spot for this yet. Where do I want to put some more drop-offs? Where do I want coal to be in particular? We could put it up here next to the coal. 
This is where coal was anyway. Why don't we build one? No, I think I want to leave these spaces for names in case we get lots more. I think the name and base requests have been teetering off, so we probably don't need that much more. Nevertheless, we may as well put our uh, drop-off area here. Like... So. It's pretty easy to make. Equation is not that hard. I'll help if needed. All right. Just got a little weird moment of dizziness, so I'm just going to take a real short break. Could you add me onto the base uh, for name and base? Yeah, there's a there's a points reward for it. You probably got enough points, actually. Can I actually check how many points someone has? Not that I can see. Let's get these guys over here. I'm going to need the construction spiders to pay this area a visit as well. Okay, fair enough. Skulk, cheers. Uh, let's connect this before I forget. That's the spirit. Alright, so this is going to be petroleum less than zero. And connect this like so. That might look a little bit neater. The lurching is from the spiders placing signals. Uh, and I need to make this a requester for petroleum as well. I'm going to symbolize that with green, just like a buffer chest. And petroleum requester. Uh, actually, let me just grab this constant combinator. And we don't need the stack threshold. Petroleum, 180,000. And we don't need to put in a figure for chemical gel. The figure is what's being read from the green circuit wire. Uh, so we should see a train coming to deliver petroleum soon, assuming we have it. Me too? Sure. All right. Um, uh, where should we put it? Should we make another block up here? I think so. Let's send our scaffolding spiders. Or not make another block, but rather just expand our scaffolding out this way. Oh yeah, I forgot, if I paint with too big of a brush for scaffolding, it can get a bit upset as well. No, I think that was actually just placing more signals, but also that can happen. Don't forget to take a break. Yeah, I'll do it after the uh, name in base. And there's our petroleum. Fantastic. So we can get a lot more chemical gel now. Oh! Uh, before the spiders left, I forgot to do this. No!
Uh, so I definitely want a pump here. I also forgot this part. And how many tiles is this? Exactly ten. That's unfortunate. We want to have no more than two units of pipe if possible. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's not put that there, since we don't want that to connect. And this one's going to be a bit different. Um, one, two... Hmm. I think here is better. One, two, three... That's unfortunate. How about... Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's about as, as, good, as good as it's going to get. Also, we're only going to be supplying these two machines from this side, but I guess they tend to struggle to get anything from up here, so it kind of evens out. Okay. Um, scaffolding spiders are on their way. Construction spiders are doing their thing. I was thinking earlier about how uh, we've got lots and lots of electric network. Uh, like a high number for the game update for electric network. I can't remember where it is. I wonder if I should it's probably not going to make that much of a difference. Um, but I wonder if I should be having making sure these are connected um, when the ships are parked. Because I think uh, someone said separate electric networks cost more UPS. Like on power switches, for example. something to consider for next playthrough. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go through the whole game and update little things like that. Alright, brick shuttle drop off goes here. Scaffolding is still being placed. We're going to need to send our construction spiders up this way. Either that or just extend our roboports out this way for a time. Except we're going to connect to this thing. That's going to be a problem. Okay, looks like we've got that block built. Let's make sure we get the... Uh... What the... Let's make sure we get the rail, otherwise trains are not going to be able to get to certain stops. And then we'll bring them up here. Okay. So I think I will still have two drop-off slots for uh, each resource. So we can have lots of capacity... Um, for a bunch of coal, for example, to be stored here at once. Uh, let's see. Coal is here. It's already being loaded. Fantastic. Uh, and I'm just going to put that there. What was I looking for? 131. Oh, the lurch. Okay, there we go. One, three, one. And we're going to take off when coal in the ship is zero. If I did use the set request uh, system for the buffer chests to make it really easy to set up new uh, shuttles, probably... Well, probably way less than the 10 or so steps that we need to set these up anyway. Um, I would only be able to have one drop-off 
uh, in a robo block for each of these resources. But that's probably fine, actually. Because, again, the ships just swap places practically instantaneously. And you can have an infinite number of ships hovering in orbit waiting to waiting to clamp here. So I guess what I said about having the extra storage here by having another ship here doesn't really make any sense. Um, but yeah, that should be... Uh, that should be our... Coal ship, uh, coal shuttle setup. Okay, that's weird. Oh, we've only got one train coming in at a time. Oh, and I forgot a very important step. We need to set a blacklist here, or rather a whitelist. Because we want anything that isn't these things to be taken out of this robot network and taken back to the mall. How did... how did Iridite get here? Or Scrap, for that matter. Probably it was in the spider's inventory? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we should get coal being delivered by ship automatically. All right, do we have our scaffolding? Mostly. Uh, we don't have any shortage of scaffolding. It's just the bot... The distribution of how the bots get given orders over time can be a little bit weird. All right, so name in base. We've got... Uh, Daniel? Do you want the numbers, or just Daniel? Where can I get a D? Don't quote me on that. Oh, D-A, here we go. One, two. And N. I... E L Oh, and we've got the construction spiders there already. Fantastic. Let's place our uh, uh, pylons. Just Daniel would be okay. All right. I think there's a double redeem for Daniel, perhaps a refund? Okay. Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. Unless we want double Daniel. So we've also got Captain True. CPT True. Or should I put CPT True? C, uh, T, T, uh, CPT or Captain? Double T, <laughs> okay. Daniel, Daniel, how's this? Double Daniel is fine. We're doubling down on double Daniel. And, uh... It was C-P-T-T-R-E-W. Well, while we're at it... Okay, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... T-R-E... I don't have an R here.
Is that how I usually do the E's? Yeah, it is. W. And do you want you and Daniel? Uh, okay. I haven't done Evil Ply yet, have I? No. I'm pretty sure. I think it was a uh, Sigma Bean that was on Nalvis. Yeah, there, there's Sigma Bean. I think double Daniel will be sufficient. All right, E. V. Oh, that's convenient. Um, P L A. L and A. Fantastic. Skulk 2K also, please. Alrighty then. Uh, S, K, I don't think I have a K here. K. I know I have a U somewhere. Skulk. 2K. I don't think I've done a 2 yet. Oh, yes I have. Should I do 2K or 2000? How's this? Okay, and after that break time, fair enough. Alright, uh, let me just get in my spooter. Put on the... actually, I want to see if the coal ship is... Nowhere near taking off, that's weird. So we've actually got a ton of coal, but... Um... How many chest slots is there? 16. I think I should just not limit this. And then... Train limit 2. Okay. Uh, now this... LTN screensaver... Words on stream? And we'll start in about 30 seconds. And I'll be back in a few. Away we go.
And good job. All right, let's pause the words on stream. This is hard? Yeah, it is. Absolutely. All right, back to Factorio. And where were we? We've just made some Naquin Cube build. Well, we did that a little while ago, actually. We're trying to get more throughput for coal. Um, oh yeah, the main reason I only did four of these, four different resources of these, is because for high throughput items, that's going to be a lot of trains. Uh, also, we would need some advanced circuitry to set this up here, and I don't want to bother with that here. I think your mic is still muted. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Shays, Hughes, Mike. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It is hard, but over time people learn combinations, and then it's very hard about level 17 and up. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure... I'm sure there's like a... How can I put this? There's like a learning curve, and then you get good. And then you rush through to where it gets really, really hard, right? Uh, where's our coal shuttle? Wait, what? Coal shuttle. That's what I meant. It is mostly full. I might just launch this one early. I want to confirm that everything works. And then I don't have to pay attention to it again. I guess it'll be delivering a few bots as well. Oh, um, speaking of which, I probably forgot... I should probably just not have this uh, com combinator switched off for the blueprint. But yeah, I forgot to have some bots delivered. We'll wait till the shuttle gets here, and then we'll see how many bots we have. Then again, it wouldn't hurt to have just a few more. Uh, coal shuttle. ETA, five seconds. Fantastic. There's minimum five letters, multiple fake, and hidden letters, and also answers are hidden. Answers are hit. Wait, so if you get a, guess a word correctly, you don't find out? And you don't... You don't have a list on screen of the correct words that other people have done? Alright, seems this is working. And if the shuttle goes back to where it's supposed to, um, that's working as well. Um, did this part get fixed? No, I need construction spiders to place a pipe and a couple of pumps. And then we need to do a build for anti uh, antimatter. And more to the point, we also need to make sure we have a flow of particle stream, which really just means we need to make sure we have more um, chemical gel. Which really means we just need more petroleum. Um, I forgot to connect this red wire to the logistic train stop output. There we go. I really love how LTN lets you have multi-stations. Yeah, I have to monitor chat. People have to collaborate more and share what they found out. There should be something like coach or coordinator. It's tricky. I'm sure you guys will get there eventually. Um... 
might not even take that long. How close are we to getting a delivery of Maquin? Uh, let's see, we've got 637 here. Uh, oh, Naquium has stopped. Alright, so we know that we don't need more machines doing this. For now, at least. I think I would prefer not to make any more deep space miner ships. I want to wait till we have antimatter engines and then build on that. Maybe even, dare I say, uh, antimatter electricity? 400 megawatts from just one reactor. Let's assume that it works the same way as nuclear reactors, with neighbor bonuses and such. So it's literally just nuclear reactor times 10. And of course it produces a high enough temperature um, that we can use uh, high temperature heat exchangers. Also, I think I saw this on what Veldak posted. The reactor, uh, the heat exchangers just happen to line up perfectly with the, with one reactor. Uh, let's see, 560 megawatts from one high temp heat exchanger. 400 megawatts from one antimatter reactor, but that's without neighbor bonus. Oh, it says there, neighbor bonus, 100%. Okay, so... Two of these next to each other is all it takes, that we could just have one-to-one, -one, uh, a couple of antimatter reactors and a couple of high-temperature heat exchangers. Uh, that'll give us 1.12 gigawatts, which um, we wouldn't quite get all of that from just one high temp turbine generator, but do we get the one gigawatt plus the power that we get from the 500 degree steam that comes out? So it's actually like from the one turbine generator, one gigawatt plus like less than three of these, which is, let's call it 12 megawatts. Which compared to a gigawatt is not that much. But yeah, I'm thinking two antimatter react, that's not that much smaller than using a beam receiver. Two and I can't exactly click that over. Uh, assuming it's the same size as this reactor. Two of these, two of these. I guess it is significantly smaller. Except we have to supply it with fuel. Alright, we are here. Fantastic. I'm tempted to not pump this that way, so that we can use all of the particle stream that we've got available here to make antimatter. Uh, how do we make antimatter? We need material fabricator, that's going to be... Do we even have any here yet? Zero. Uh, we need to wait to hit a threshold to get modules delivered. It's actually just speed and efficiency that we're looking. Okay, we've got a hundred here. Why is that? Um, where are we? There it is. What the? Uh, why do we have a thousand one hundred efficiency modules and they're not being picked up? Uh, did I do something wrong here? No, this is a pickup station. So it shouldn't matter that I added those constants over here. 
we do allow short trains. We're looking f Oh, I think I know the answer. I keep making the same mistake. Maybe I should just have, like, another station here for the stuff that I want delivered via short train. Because I think what happened is I didn't set this to... Yeah, an entire train load worth of modules. So far I use antimatter reactors, but for automated ships I'm considering to use tanks with 5k steam. I was thinking about that as well, yeah. No reactors or beam receivers, just put steam in at a station. Uh, I did one experiment with that but much to my surprise, um, it seemed to be working just fine for a while, even though I thought... Uh, it looked a lot like this, but I think with more condenser turbines, maybe. Except instead of the energy beam receiver, um, we've just got a bunch of uh, hot steam. Uh, except instead of these two, rather. Um... I think I was using uh, 165 degrees steam recipe. No, I'm pretty sure I ended up going with just outputting the water and then dealing with that when we land somewhere else. Um, but it was actually like blocked on outputs for the water and different temperature steam or both probably the steam i think uh and yet it seemed to be producing the maximum amount of power uh but eventually that state of affairs collapsed very suddenly just gotta be careful with that one uh, I do have a bunch of speed and efficiency modules, I think, for the moment. I'll just drop them off directly into this machine. Um, and I am seriously considering... I think I might do it. We'll do a second drop-off station here. Um, for the short trains. So everything that I just want the short trains to bring, um, we'll remove from these requests. There's not a whole lot actually. I mean, a bunch of them I was going to just have a short train bring, and then I bumped them up to 8k, for example. I mean, I don't actually mind if a short train drops off at this one. Uh, but yeah, let's do a requester. And actually... One five five two five five. That should be blue to show that it's a requester. I don't know why this one's yellow. Oh, I see. Actually. All right. So short train. Only. Quest stack threshold can be like one. And we're looking for modules. Uh, let's go for 500 each at any given time to start with. And I don't know what to call this. I'm just going to leave that for now. Oh, and we want to read from the Logistic Network to tell us what we've got. Alright, so switch that on. 
And we should see short trains delivering modules directly to the mall. We have been making modules very consistently lately, as far as I know. Oh, wow, look at that. That's actually really consistent. Uh, module 6 is common to all of those. Over the last 10 hours, we've been consistently... Okay, the last 5 hours or so, for the most part. Uh, we've been really consistently making modules. That's fantastic. You know, I said I don't like the scorch marks from nukes, but if I really wanted to, um... be somewhat lazy and aggressive with cleaning up some old stuff, I could use the glaive. That is a thing I could do. Uh, where are we going? Here? Oh, wait, what? Something's wrong with my inventory. Oh no. Oh no. That means it's gonna bring back a random spider. Not my beloved speedy spider. Or I think the spider's probably set to zero to in from zero to infinity. Also, I never did make the, uh, Mark III thruster suit. Did I? What does it require? Uh, we've got... Oh yeah, it's a bit of a hassle to bring those tier 3... Wait, two of them are tier 1, two of them are tier 3. And I just need one of each. Alright, why don't we go and collect those? Astro 1, Bio 1. Wait, before I forget, I was trying to... don't have any more speed modules. Oh, does that mean we made some more fabricators? Doesn't look like it. Or well, then again, my requests just had them removed. Yeah, we've got three fabricators now. It's 502 days until Dune Part 2. That is... That is a lot of days. Uh, give me... Fabricators, please. All of them. One, two... Oh, they're giving me speed modules. I think we've got trains bringing us speed modules now. There we go. Efficiencies as well. Fantastic. Alright, so first... I want to drop off these fabricators. I've only got three, but... It'll... Like this other build, it'll be enough to... Give us some idea of what the maximum size of this is going to be. How fast do we consume the fluid here? Uh, 250 per second is pretty slow, actually. So we're not bottlenecked on any of these input stations or anything. Material testing packs are really small stack size, though. Alright, but... Uh, we're paying a visit to four of our... I guess I could either go here or to the place where we make the signs. And we needed... Astro and Bio 1, blue and green, and the others are tier 3. Alright, we're going to grab some tier 3 from here, I think. 
we literally only need one. Unless I want to make a spare. May as well. And then... Uh, down... Well, that's actually tier 3. Blue and green, we need tier 1. Oh, it's right here, actually. Let's go here first. Fantastic. Let's turn that off for the moment. Give me... That's broad. I'm not looking for broad. It's over here. Give me Astro Catalog 1. Energy 3. Bio 1 we can find over here. And then finally... Uh, mechanical 3. Which is way over here. Or I could find it here. Are we not? Oh, I'm wearing power armor. Which means no robo-ports. There we go. Come to think of it, can we make better power armor? Uh, no. No, we cannot. Ever. At least with this mud pack. Don't tell me the thruster suit becomes more powerful than the power armor in every way. I'm gonna think of it, I should hope so, considering... Um... Considering everything that we have to put into it. Uh, let's grab Bio 1. What are our spiders doing here? Oh, that's right, I had them build this. How much more chemical gel have we been making so uh, lately? Oh, it's a fluid, of course. Uh, that is a pretty big spike. But that's over the last six minutes or so. Well, yeah, that's since I connected this. So over the last hour, this was probably when we built this thing. This base is a dream to the player, but nightmare to the computer. Yeah. It's a bit big. I mean, honestly, if I'd known just how big the base would get, um, I definitely would have built things smaller. I'm thinking about... For the next playthrough, I think I would like to try to fit... Hmm. I would like to put a single wide area beacon in the middle. And have a little bit more room around the edges so that, like, machines could touch the edge of it here. Uh, but basically, build a rail block around one wide area beacon if we can make everything else fit together conveniently. I might use smaller trains. Maybe double cargo wagons? If we use just one cargo wagon, a whole lot of stuff gets a whole lot easier, but don't necessarily have to do that. I have tried to make, like, a quarter size rail block that fits in with these rail blocks. It didn't work out so well. And last but not least, we need some tier 3 material catalog. Even if I was going to build this thing, if I was going to do a playthrough 
that ended up with a base this gigantic again. Um, most of this stuff is sitting idle a lot of the time. So until we're actually trying to do infinite research at the end of the game just to see how fast we can go. Uh, a lot of these machines aren't doing us any favors. So something that I could start doing a lot earlier is like I did over here. I designed it to fit 14 material fabricators in half a block. Um, but then, for now we're only building a few. Seems the right size of rail blocks in my opinion. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. I mean, we fit two long trains, uh, two stations for long trains at each side. Um, it's pretty effective. I call a lot. I, I call a four train a long train. Some people go a lot longer than that. Um, but I think these are somewhere around optimal in terms of throughput and acceleration. All right, here we go. Give me this, and we'll head back to the mall. Uh, and I might just throw down a space manufactory, a requester chest. Um, mark three. Oop, here we go. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we actually randomly had some of those catalogs already. Whoops. It's fine. And inserter. So how much more inventory space are we getting? Uh, inventory size bonus 40 versus 50. And how does it compare to power armor? We've got 030, 030, 060, 030. So no flat damage resistance at all. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical 10 and explosion 60. 70, 50, 70, 40. Versus... Yeah. The damage resistance is considerably worse. Uh, even at the top tier. It, it actually doesn't get any better. It's the same as the first tier of thrust thruster suit. Uh, we do get a larger equipment grid size though, 16 by 16. On the final tier. Uh, this one is 10 by 10. That is a huge difference. Even going from 10 to 14 is a, oh, 12 by 14. Even so, that is a pretty big difference. Uh, power armor is only 10 by 10. Okay. That's pretty huge, actually. I also don't know if the damage re reduction is relevant while we still have our shields up or not. If the damage reduction doesn't apply while we still have shield hit points, then I really couldn't care less about it. Wait, did we already make one of these? No, we didn't. Why did the inserter just start doing its thing? Oh, it was already very, very busy doing its thing. Okay, then. And here we go. Uh, 
Also, do we get more thrust speed? I'm curious. Um, I thought we had more spare thruster suits. Oh, we have tier 1 thruster suits, I think. Sitting around. Yeah. I don't really feel like making a tier 2 again. Um, does it tell us? I don't think there's a stat anywhere here. I don't know if we get more, like, built-in thruster speed or anything. But what we do get is significantly more power armor stuff. In fact, why don't I just yoink all of this and start suffocating. Let's get in the spider. Uh, power, armor, sorry, thruster suit, mark three, goes here now, and this thing can get out of my inventory. Actually, this thing can go... Wait, what? Oh, we're saving. What is your hardware like? Did you upgrade anything to improve in performance? Yes. Um, the bottleneck, I believe, is still RAM. Uh, RAM speed in particular. The build that I had before... I mean, it's the same build, except for one thing. Um, I was actually stuck with not dual-channel RAM. And it was at, like, uh, I think 2600 for a while. Uh, I swapped that out for a pair of sticks, the same amount of RAM, but we're up to 2933, I think it is. Unfortunately, that's bottlenecked on the motherboard. It, uh, the RAM itself is like 3200. Um, but going with slightly faster RAM, effectively, and dual channel, uh, I think when we were down to like 20, uh, 20 or 30 UPS quite a while ago, uh, once I put that RAM in, actually I can look this up, I was talking to someone about it a while ago, uh, has UPS? Uh, here we go. Oh, I think it jumped from like 30 to 50 when I changed it. It, yeah, it literally added like 20 UPS going from 30 to 50 because of that. Um, but the rest, uh, of this machine, I'm pretty sure, is, like, well beyond being a bottleneck. Uh, anyway, what are we putting in here? Life support? There's no middle, is there? Oh, there is. Except then, because everything is even numbers. Crazy? Would not have expected the RAM to have that big of an impact? Yeah, apparently Factorio is very, uh, very prone to being RAM bottlenecked, um, compared to everything else. We can have lots of stuff in here. Um, I definitely want... I don't like that this isn't going to be symmetrical, but what can you do? <laughs> Well, maybe it, maybe I can make it symmetrical. Um, lots of jetpack. Uh, can we have it all? How many robo ports did I had have, have before? How many do the spiders have? Eight, I think. Yeah. 
If I want lots of range on my Roboports, I need eight. Um, but I don't necessarily. Oh, let's put them here, actually. I would love to be able to have enough of everything that I never bother swapping this out. That's a sh that's a lot of jetpacks, actually. Um, on the other hand, it feels nice to move around faster, especially with the low UPS. Andy Max, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I also need batteries, life support. I think I'm just going to swap these out when I have combat things to do. Actually, I want lots of walking speed as well. That's not that much walking speed, but we're on um, scaffolding. That inventory space is huge in the Mark III suit, and I think the Mark IV is even bigger. Yeah, uh, the Mark IV gives us another 10 inventory slots, and instead of uh, 12 by 14 for the equipment grid, it's 16 by 16. Actually, you know what I should do? Um, I should use the perfect night glasses. What does it take up? 2x2. Two two. We can spare 2x2 two two in this thing. Alright, so... Whoa, that's not what I meant. Some life support. We're at six... close to seven hours from a stack of life support with this one thing. I think that's okay, especially considering seven hours is actually like 21 hours with our UPS. Uh, let's put in some perfect night vision. Wait, stop still looks dark. Does that, does that work with the navigation satellite? I still see a torch here, so perfect, uh, I need to find some night time to look at. What planet has night time right now? This one? So what if I, this planet's pretty light, but well, this part's darker. I don't think it's working through the navigation satellite. It's still horrendously dark through that. Um, but it's like always nighttime in orbit, right? If I swap... I don't think it works through the navigation satellite. Uh, let me just... What am I doing? Swap this out. Can I go somewhere that we're going to see the difference? Wait, let me put in the rest of my stuff first. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to bother with... Uh, what is it called? Belt immunity equipment. Even though it occasionally... Like, occasionally, there are moments when that would be nice. But, like, I can just activate the jetpack. Uh, I do want... Oh, we just need nanomaterial for this. Um, sure. You know what? Let me set up... Oh, I, this didn't need to be this giant machine either, I don't think. Let me set up a little chain here. Wait, what? No. And request a chest. Um, I've got a bunch of it downstairs, but I can't be bothered to bring up all the tier 1, 2, 3, 4 stuff. But it's really just tier 4 stuff, just to make this. Um, so we're going tier 1, adaptive armor... Uh, tier 2, 
If I do this, it should be easy to find. Not really. Tier 3, Tier 4, and Tier 5. And we just need some requested chests for each of those. Wait, what are we doing? Do we have it all? I don't think I need to check that bo uh, box, actually. Apparently, we're out of processing units. Let me just grab them from here. I know we don't have any more tier 2 thruster suits, so I may as well deconstruct this. Only need one spare anyway. Um, I think it only takes one... Yeah, it's not like modules where we need three of these to make one of these or anything. So it's not going to be that expensive. Let's throw down a little speed buff, though. Wait, did we not get our processing units here? How many more do we need? Okay, cool. I guess if we're not getting a delivery of processing units anytime soon... I'll have to micromanage it a little bit. Wait, where are our processing units? We have a shuttle for that. Oh, here they are. And you are actually headed to the mall. Okay, perfect. What do we need for the uh, tier 4? I'm actually excited for it now. Deep space, lots, no doubt. Antimatter canisters, Naquim processors, self-healing gel, I think I already made lattice somewhere, and we need tier 2... Okay, it looks like we just need tier 2 um, deep space science. How do we make Naquim processes again? Uh, that requires deep space science pack 3, actually. I have a bunch of them. I, I think I left literally all of them. At Foe and Estra. We've got eight of them here. From that little game. So I could... We literally just need one. For the final thruster suit. So we could get it once we've got... Tier 2, probably. The only other unfamiliar things here are Lattice and Self-Healing Gel. Um, lattice? Have we made those before? We have. And Self-Healing Gel, I'm pretty sure we haven't made. We might already have it unlocked. Uh, Vitalik, Vitalik, and Cryonite Rod. And we make it in a biochemical facility. We do indeed have that already. Uh, so yeah, once we get Deep Space Science Pack 2, uh, that's when we're going to get the final... Uh, the final type of armor. I mean, power armor. I mean, thruster suit. What do we get from this? 500 hit points, 25 per second, as opposed to, this is actually only Mark II, half as many hit points, more than quadruple the recharge speed, but the reason I like these uh, is, I'm pretty sure I'll just test it now, let me get some more jetpacks even, yeah. When you go fast with energy shields, it actually drains your power and your hit points on the energy shield. 
which I am not even the slightest bit of a fan of. Um, the adaptive armor is also more uh, energy efficient. 20 kilojoules per hit point as opposed to, this is Mark II, 26.67 kilojoules per hit point. That is the biggest bus I've ever seen. Yeah, um, I sort of decided after mucking around up here, I wanted to build a main bus base because we didn't have the space rail yet. But if I'd realized, if I'd only realized, we only need a uh, 50 energy science pack one to get the space rail. I would have rushed for it, like even if I had to move everything around by hand. Um, but I decided to build a main bus base just to support tier one of each of the space sciences, except for deep space, of course. Um, and I thought, okay, why don't... Uh, this is the only machine that makes these science packs, so what if I just don't put any speed modules in this, no beacon, no nothing, and with what we've got, which is to say tier three speed modules... Uh, and no beacons that we can use in space. I'm just going to build one of these machines for each science pack. And I'm going to build exactly the number of machines that we need to support full throughput on that one machine. And uh, th th this is the result. That's All of that is just Bioscience 1. Um... And this bottom one is Astro, I think. Yep. Uh, and up here, I think the smallest one is Energy. And this is Material. Um, and I kind of just sort of committed to it. But if I'd known just how big it was going to be just to accomplish that, uh, I definitely would have done something else. In fact, this is the kind of thing I'm tempted to aim the energy beam glaive at. It might be more fun and easier than um, actually reclaiming what we've got here. Although some of these assembly machines are sort of expensive a little bit. But, I mean, literally all of our resources are infinite except for Nacrotite, so uh, it shouldn't hurt to just delete all of this. Not really. Everything... Uh, uh, stuff costs us time more than it costs us, like, actual resources, in a sense. Um, I didn't actually decide... So normally I wore four of these, that's a thousand hit points. That's actually just two Adaptive Armor Mark Vs. Although the recharge speed leaves something to be desired, of course. Um, by comparison. Oh, we've got two more. Let's take them. I think I'll go... Did the bots just steal those? I think the bots just stole them. Uh, where did my armor go? Bots. Okay, I gotta put this in immediately. And I think I'm satisfied with that for now. Uh, robots, could you please... Bring me some Mark V Adaptive Armor. So just to compare it to the maximum tier of energy shield, we actually get four times the hit points and way, way more recharge speed. Uh, energy per, per hit point is almost twice as bad. Max consumption is 30 megawatts. But the thing that really put me back onto the adaptive armor is just being able to move at speed without draining 
the shield and massively, massively draining uh, the batteries. Speaking of batteries, I need some. Oh, not that. Not up there, please. Uh, this can go here. We can remove this now. And I think I'll go for like 10 batteries. That seems pretty good, actually. Oh, we're not running fast because we don't have... This is actually 800 kilowatts and these two give us a thousand? Are we recharging something? Uh, probably the adaptive armor. 500 kilowatts each. So that is 2000 kilowatts, which we do not have. We've got half of that. So this is recharging at half speed at the moment because we have no battery charge. Uh, personal batteries are kind of OP in a way. In, uh, in Factorio, because unlike accumulators, they have absolutely no limit with how fast they can discharge. Or recharge, for that matter, I think. Um, so, if you have sufficient battery charge, for a time it's like having infinite portable... Uh, infinite fusion reactors. Um, we should be able to run while just barely gaining power. That's good. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Okay. Shall we get back to doing something a bit more productive? Uh, I want to stop requesting Energy Shield Mark II. Where is it? Here it is. And I would prefer... A stack of adaptive armor. I'll actually produce more of those a little bit later. Let's go build our antimatter. And actually, speaking of which, a uh, fabricator. Oh, we've got 14. Fantastic. Hello? Your night glasses also need power, hence why it didn't work. That is a point. Oh, and I didn't replace them yet. Okay, let's try... No, the bots took them away. Ah, uh, this is the one thing I don't like about auto trash. Um, turn off trashing of unrequested items once they are all removed. Hmm. Auto trash only in main networks. Pause auto trash. I should probably use that more often. Let's show status display. Oh, this is all the stuff we don't have. It's taking up a lot of space, though. Uh, anyway, let's request glasses. And they should be on their way. There we go. Okay, so we definitely have power. They only take one kilowatt, but they might be like lower priority than shields or something. Or robo personal robopods are really, really thirsty. Um... Let's just maybe get rid of that request for now. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, right. This should be nothing but legs. So if I look over here, it still looks pretty dark. I don't think it works via the nav set. Um, and we've still got visible torches and st oh i'm in the spider that's why probably i still everything still looks about the same to me at least in orbit hmm. 
I guess... I, I think it's still not going to work in vehicles, just like Afraid of the Dark generally doesn't work while we're in vehicles. Maybe we'll find a use for it somewhere. I'm a little disappointed by that, to be honest. Where are we going? Over here? Let's get our construction spiders on the scene. Because in orbit it is always day. It's a pretty dark day. Well, so we're actually going to have to physically go to a planet before we can test this. That's disappointing. I can't tell if I've gotten used to how overly dark things are, or if they made it a little bit less bad at some point. I'm thinking I just got used to it. I mean, look at this. Or don't, actually. So in orbit it's always day, does that mean we're always getting the maximum on these portable solar panels? Wait, doesn't that mean while I'm in orbit I'd be better off with 4x4, four 16x30, four, 480 kilowatts, it's almost as good as a tier 2 portable RTG. Alright. That's not the same size, right? Oh, it is the same size. Okay. Well, it doesn't use beacons, though, anyway. Uh, two fluids in, two fluids out. That's what making antimatter stream is all about. Maybe night vision? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, this is night vision. Um, the Afraid of the Dark mod adds better night vision. I mean, we could try it. I I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to have all of the same places that it doesn't work. Yeah, it still looks about the same. Let's look on planet. Oh, I think the sun's coming up. Yeah, it is. Can we find another planet that's dark? Here we go. So definitely not through the nav satellite. Wait, now that I think about it, no, <laughs> it'd be nice if we could put the perfect night glasses on the nav satellite, but unfortunately it doesn't have a slot to, uh, to give it some power armor. Yeah, just, just imagine a satellite in space with some giant cool looking shades on it. Antimatter poetry. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Veldak. Uh, Alright, so I'm pretty sure I remember how this dance goes, and I'm going to be disappointed at the best shape that we can make uh, to do this consistently. Where is it? I think it's from... Yeah, like, this is what we had to do with two output fluids um, to have a row of machines for mechanical science one. They had to be a couple of tiles apart and the pipes are all blah looking. Because we can't flip these we can only rotate them. 
Use the glaive to light up your base, indeed. Um, Alright, so we've already got the particle stream here. We need to pick up negative 275 degree thermofluid. And we're just going to bring that in here. And then we need two fluid outputs. Which we can do at the one station. With some very simple circuitry. And that is to say... I might make that a purple because one of the outputs is a like side output that we need to get rid of to keep things moving. So that's a very high priority pickup. Uh, we don't need a stack thresh, uh, stack provide threshold. And uh, so we're just going to say, I haven't decided which is going to be which yet, but uh, 25 degree thermofluid greater than zero means the train is asking for it, coming from the logistic train stop output, and antimatter stream greater than zero. We might flip those around. Good night, mate. Time for me to take afternoon nap. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Veldek. Have a good one. Have a nice nap. Pink pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many lamps would it take to consume an entire energy emitter? Uh, it depends on how much you're pumping through the energy beam emitter. Also, there was a mod I was considering using. Um, it actually... I don't think it turn... Okay, the reason I didn't decide to use it, actually. Uh, it doesn't actually turn all of your power poles into light sources, but it gives you a version of each power pole uh, that is a light source. Um, so it would be quite a lot of work at this point, obviously, to put those everywhere, but maybe on a future playthrough I'll be using those. Has research stopped intentionally? No, we don't have enough Naquium. Uh, it is in motion, though. We've got 1.8k plate. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I very deliberately got enough Naquium ingot taken upstairs to get to Antimatter Engine, but we don't have enough plate just yet. If I recall correctly. Uh, we do have... 6.4 thousand, that might actually be all we need. Um, is it just plate that we're looking for? Yes. And we need 31% of 2,000. Except we get double per recipe. Well, we, we, get, we need 5 Naquium plate for Deep Space Science pack. We've actually got 56 here. Um, 69% oddly specific. So we need, uh, 0.31 times 2,000, 620 science packs times 5. No, oh, that's not that much. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's send it up manually. Boop, and boop. I didn't actually see, I heard a sound, I think that was just... There we go. 
Naquim plate is on its way. And that should be enough to finish the antimatter engine. Did you already upload your save file? Uh, no, I didn't actually figure out where I was going to put it uh, just yet. HP Crusher, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions where I could upload like a half gig file uh, without doxing myself, that would be much appreciated. Uh, how should I... We have two... F There's no way I'm going to be able to do this particularly neatly, is there? A non-files? Alright, put that in my to-do. A non-files. Okay. Uh, I might need a bigger connection point than this. We don't actually need these to be... Yeah, we're not building these around a beacon. But we're going to make a column or two nevertheless. Actually, we only need maximum whatever consumes 500 particle stream per second. So... Oh, it's 10. It's exactly 10. Fair enough. If I do this, do we... We do not. Let's put a fiver here. Wait, what? Cannot connect systems with different... F oh, okay. Wait. Okay, that's fine. Both of the outputs facing that way. Uh, this one can go wherever. How many tiles is this? Actually, let me see. Hmm. If I make the uh neg the twenty five degree thermofluid face like this, so that we can do this. Then the antimatter output has to be up here, which means we end up with exactly nine tiles. That might be what we'll do. Media fire is good. All right, I'll check that one out as well. Thanks. I am freaky. Repetitive beats. Uh, isn't Mediafire really old? I'm surprised it's still around. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised every web, like, useful website from a long time ago is around, but I guess I am a little bit, like, it, that, that any of them are still around if they're really old. Why does that not line up like that? Oh, I can't put this here either. So this is going to have to be... At least that still reaches. Um, what's our pattern going to look like here? So yeah, pretty old. The go-to for MC mods back in 2012? Indeed. I was thinking way older than that even. Am I wrong? Uh, let's see. Can I perhaps... If I offset these, then these two could line up. These wouldn't line up either. Never mind. I'm going to have to use little pipes here. Well, we're not even going to have that high of a throughput. When the maximum that we're doing in this block is 500 per second. Um... 
so I don't think we need to worry about it that much. Also, I'm guessing, just just a wild guess, but I, I'm I'm imagining that antimatter stream uh, is going to go a long, long, long way, like much further than ion stream even. So the throughput that we need for it is probably not that ridiculous. Uh, so how many tiles is this? Exactly nine? Fantastic. I like where this is going, actually. At least as far as something like this goes. It really does feel strange uh, not being able to put modules in these things. But also, they're incredibly power hungry. We've got 73 gigawatts. We've got like 60 spare. So we'll probably be fine. They've been around since 2006. Never got abused with copyright problems. Nice. Uh, okay. I think this is our layout. That almost lines up perfectly. I could make it line up perfectly, could I not? If I just move this over a tile? So this could go down the middle, and this one could go straight in here. Uh, 13 tiles. Hmm. I would kind of like these to line up like so, if possible. Just for the look of it. Strange they've not been bought out. Usually the owners want to move on to new projects. Maybe they care about their project? Oh, that's good. Nine. And we'll do a 15 here. And this goes here. So this is going to be... Oh, it worked out just the way I did it earlier. 25 degree up here and antimatter down here. Cool, cool, cool. 25 degree thermofluid and antimatter. I feel like the antimatter is more important. Let's put that first. And we do need to connect this to tell LTN what's here. Okay, so now we need to link up our input fluids. Uh, this is going to be negative 273 degree thermofluid. And our uh, particle stream comes from here. What's our max rate on this? It's still on tier... Th oh, it's still mostly on tier 3 speed modules. But... How much more are we going to get out of speed plus 40 versus speed plus 7? Okay, wow, okay, that's significant. Um, if we give it maximum, well, not maximum speed, but maximum speed with efficiency... What is this? A particle accelerator. Whoops, whoops. Accelerator. Speed 6. Go. Fantastic. Okay. I'll just 
be absolutely sure. There's 16 of these. Uh, 629. It's not that much more, but... It's something. Oh, but I'm already... Kind of limited by making 10 of these. Maybe 12? 12 is... Cutting it a little close, perhaps? We've got some room down here. Twelve gives us six hundred per second. And this gives us six twenty-nine per second. It's pretty good actually. This is one tile off for a really convenient connection. Uh why don't we go for This, this, and how many tiles is this? Five? Fantastic. That's a good fit. And this can be a three. We still need the other input. Also, that's not going to be a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure... let's check. That we... 1.2k thermofluid. That's going to be 600 on each side. I don't think we need a pump for that. I could be wrong. So it should be 757 here as well. Fantastic. Uh, maybe just like this. And like so. Oh, we didn't do this output. That's kind of sad. I guess we just put another 9 here. Wait, why is this... Oh, that's wrong. Don't tell me I copied that mistake anywhere. No, it looks pretty good. Okay, so we have input number two, outputs one and two, I believe, are Gunski. And now we just need input number one as well, which is to say... Uh, particle stream. And that one's going to be a little bit different. Oh, we got research! We have antimatter engines. How do we make them? Uh, we need heavy assemblies. We do have those. Naquim cubes. And you don't use particle stream on nothing else? We do, but for now this is... I mean, particle stream has just been bottlenecked on plasma stream, which is bottlenecked because... Um, well, first it was we need a chemical gel, but also we're making a ton of ion stream temporarily because we need it over here. Thank you, thank you. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Midden as well. I might have said hello earlier today. Possibly. 
Uh, let's see. I think this is 575, right? Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's what I like to see. One of those spiders has an accelerator in its trash. You had three originally. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It is a very naughty spider. And I don't know which one it is. Uh, logistics. Unfortunately, I can't just mouse over to see which one it is. Unless it was in my trash, no. We'll just have to go back to get more. Okay. Um, so, this is going to look about the same on this side. Also, I missed this underground pipe. Now we can copy-paste this, like... Oh, that's going to be difficult. We might need to do undergrounds for... the negative 275 degree thermofluid instead. not bad. Actually, it could be even... No, it can't be closer because we need those undergrounds. And that one could be a 3B. And a 3. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nice fight, Thray. Uh, I think I want to get rid of this pump. What is this? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's going to be a little bit awkward. So 15 just doesn't fit, and 9 won't reach for this underground. We need 11. Uh, what if we just do... No, 14 is one too many. Rip. So we need three pipe sections here. No, let's do 5 and 7. Why not? And there we go. Uh, next. Eight tiles, really? How could you? Five and three and one. Uh, we need to actually request our... Negative 273 degree thermofluid. Double check that it is, in fact, negative 273 degrees. Negative 273 requester. Switch that on. It should be just a moment before the train comes. Let's update those. And spiders go for a little walk. What are those bots doing? Also, how many uh, fabricators do we have now? Probably a few. Uh, apparently zero. Nope, we've got 14. It just didn't 
switch to the right logistic network. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'll just personally go grab those fabricators so we're not putting one more thing in our construction spiders for now. We're not going to be building them too, too often. Uh, so we need another ten. Fabricator. And... Why, why, why do we have bots hovering? Because there's no space in the spiders because of stack splitting. There's only a, one or two of them that was full, apparently. And I can't figure out... Oh, there you are. There's one of them, anyway. If I use Navsat and just pick up stuff, uh, it gets put straight back into the spider, but... It'll auto-sort onto a stack that already exists. Oh. That's not quite how it works, as you can see, actually. It sort of gets put into the first available stack, like an inserter would. And that's the last of those bots hovering. Cool, cool, cool. Particle stream. Oops. Right about there. Anti map to stream. Right about there. We've got our. Oh, here we go. First antimatter. And it is in the rail network. Beautiful. And. Even though we don't have all the machines here, we can check and see, it looks like... Okay, we don't have uh, the particle stream on this side yet. Oh, this was actually needing to be a pair of undergrounds. So we can put this down here somewhere. And what would be the best way? Over here, I suppose. What? Oh, I think I just misclicked. I thought it was saying that it was different types of fluid. 9, 10, 11. Nothing makes 11. I guess 5, 3, 3. I hate it. And we need six here, so all the threes. Alright, there is our particle stream. And it looks like all of that is set up correctly. We've got our... We've got our fabricators on the way. Um, and I think it's about time to start making some antimatter uh, engines. Let's put those here. And the fuel tanks here. Probably don't need that many. Now, what do they actually require to make? Let's reset this timer so it changes recipes quicker. Papa Snoozy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am looking for a decent map string for space exploration, as in the uh, the map seed. I don't actually... I mean, I can give you this one if you like, but 
I don't have much to go on as to... Well, I guess I do have a few things to go on as to how good or bad it is. It's not the worst. It would have... I don't know if you would ever get all of the exotic resources in the solar system, but we did get, I think, literally all of them except for Beryl. After 20 hours, it won't matter. Uh, it does. On, a, on another playthrough, I would definitely... On this, if I was using the same seed, I think once I went into Planetary and I could clear out Alessandro, I would make this my base of operations because it is a crude oil planet that is smaller. So it takes way less liquid rocket fuel for the ships to take off. Um, and we can also produce a lot more of it. Uh, and we can casually throw resources into orbit. Um, yeah, that that's the reason that I would do that. Crude planet is also guaranteed. Yeah, but that's Mars, right? I think someone said that like one crude moon is always closest to Nalvis, but this one's really, really tiny. Hey, Terex, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Good to see you again. Oh, well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't know. How small... I think we... we uh, Like, Tolibai is really, really small. Um, but we actually... Uh, scanned or explored literally all of Moors. And it's small enough, uh, especially with the water in the way, if we don't use landfill. But it's small enough that I think, even if I was trying to build smaller next time, um, I would actually start feeling a bit claustrophobic on planet. I think Alessandro is about perfect. There's no way... There's no way I'm going to run out of space building on Alessandro, but it's small enough that the ships can take off much more easily. Lucky O Brown, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, what do we actually need for antimatter? Nanomaterial? Naquim cube, that's the thing we don't have yet. We also need ion engines, but we're already automatically producing those. Um, they should be appearing in this requester chest. Yes, they are. Holy space manufactory. That is not what I was expecting to see. Um, we are... Wait, what? No, we need the heavy assemblies. Why are you picking up the... Oh, because there's too many filters on this thing. Yeah, you can only have five filters. So this is supposed to be taking out the space manufactories and particle colliders and so on that were requested by this chest earlier. But there's too many th things on the filter for it to not pick up. So it's not working properly. Uh, we need Lattice Pressure Vessel. Uh, where are we making those? If we can use prod modules, they'll be on the ground. We cannot use prod modules. What do they go into? I can't remember if I put them into the rail system, or... No, I probably just built them here, didn't I? Because we needed them for, like, one thing. Yep, here they are. Okay, cool. Uh, so despite appearances, we do actually have lattice pressure vessels. Uh, yeah, we have literally everything except Maquim Cube for both of these. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we were building... In fact, we finished our build for Naquim Cube. We've actually got everything except the particle stream here. Nice. 
Uh, why is plate... Why is there a little bit of plate here and then this is... Oh, because I did that on purpose. How did we end up with a little bit of it over here? Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, all of these inserters are connected and output at the same time. So a little bit got through on this side, but we're blocking it here. All right. Once we get some particle stream over here, we're going to turn this around. Uh, and we're going to keep an eye on this to see if one stack inserter is sufficient. Let's go place our machines to make antimatter. Even though we're trying to get particle stream right now. Um, we are missing plasma stream. Uh, just because we're turning it all into ion stream still. This is actually full at the moment. Are the trains just being slow to pick it up? Or well, I doubt it. We're not lacking fluid. Oh, where are we? I think I saw some for Nalvis Orbit as well. Uh, we need short trains on Nalvis again. Let's add some. LT. N L C L train one two three four five six seven and actually eight would work here. L C L train. Cool, cool, cool. The only good map strings that are Interplanetary would only be for random planets, which you don't even need, or Naquium Distance, which is probably less of a concern than a good burner phase in the beginning. I suppose. What would I want on a seed? I think I care more about the positioning of planets and stuff than what happens on Nalvis, to be honest. Um, the vast, vast majority of the game, we've got Nalvis completely conquered. Um, and everything, uh, most things are coming from core mining. Alright, I'll give those a minute to get fueled up. Oh, I love that purple glow when we're making antimatter. Uh, they've all got products finished at least one. Wait, that one had a problem. Fluid ingredient shortage, that's fine. As long as the output isn't blocked or something. Oh, those are all working. Um, I was considering... Oh, we got, we got our research done. I'm going to switch this off for now. Until we need more, um... Uh, Naquium energy data. Because I want that, uh... Particle stream. So we've actually sped these up as much as we can without going full speed module. Maybe we should go full speed module. Uh, plasma generator. Max consumption normally is 2 megawatts. This one 100. Yeah, we can afford the power. Let's do that. So we're going to send our construction spiders over here. Uh, we're going to change our request for wide area beacon to go for just speed module 6. Actually, the inputs are so slow on this. But, hmm. 
No, I think that'll be fine. I was considering using a couple of the rare wide area beacon twos that we've got, but I think the fluid output is going to be start to become a problem with a bit more of this. Unless I add some pipes, which I could. Nah, it's fine. Um, we'll just put more speed modules here. And more speed modules here. We should have plenty of energy to make that happen. There are starter planets like there are starter patches, except you can complete the game with those starter planets. Indeed. Wait, you can't... Well, technically, I guess, you can complete... No, you can't. You definitely need to go into planetary, and probably into stellar, to get the um, exotic resources, right? Without even talking about Naquium. Uh, so... I'm still waiting on this plasma stream. I think I'm going to crank up the priority on this one. I don't know where else na uh, Plasma Screen might be going, but we're going to have... It's not just that I want the Particle Stream over here somewhere uh, for Nacrium Cubes, but if we're going to start using antimatter for spaceships, obviously we need them to not be running out of that. I love that purple glow, though. I think... It, it, it's probably more what it represents than the actual aesthetic. It is a very, uh... soft colour, though. Alright. And that's our first... How much have we made already? Stream. We've already made 57,000 antimatter stream. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that that is actually a lot. Um, that antimatter is going to go a very long way in our engines. Each ring that isn't Nalvis's has one planet with an exotic resource per resource. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. For example, there's a crinite planet in the final ring, and a vulcanite planet in the first ring. Okay, so that's very, like, deliberate with the procedural generation. Are, are you saying, like, I, you can always expect an iridite planet here, and a holmanite planet here, for example? And never beryl in the starting solar system? Exactly, okay. So it's not going to make that much difference, I'm guessing. Yeah, I would definitely go to Alessandro to set up a home base, like, as soon as possible, on another playthrough. Beryl planets can exist, but the first asteroid belt is guaranteed to be beryl. Guess there's that, yeah. If we want the core fragments, we have to go into Stellar. I much, 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 much prefer core fragments. Um, I don't like making and remaking mines over and over again. Maybe if I set the, uh, what is it called? On world generation? Uh, maybe if I had set the richness to maximum or something, I'd find it a bit more tolerable. Wait, is this working? Oh. You're joking. The middle set has products finished zero. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh, the tragedy. We just missed one underground pipe this entire time. The the ones on the side have finished 8,600 or so. This one's over 9,000. Uh, and the ones in the middle are just doing their first sets of particle stream now. But it has been bottlenecked on input plasma for a long time, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's fine, is what I'll pretend. Antimatter stream go burr. Fantastic. Why did I put this on the opposite side, I wonder? Okay, I think it is just about time for a break. Oh, I didn't, um... I did manually bring up the aquium plate, didn't I? We got it over here. We're just waiting for the particle stream. Which might actually just be a good idea to do anyway. The resources are now leave much to be desired. They really do. Initial slider settings are only for Nalvis. Ah, uh, right. That makes sense. I mean, it's mostly Nalvis where I am... You know, having to make mines over and over. I've only made a few temporary mines on other planets, and none of them have run out um, because we're primarily sending other stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get some. Should I do Nalvis Orbit or Nalvis? Let's put the screensaver on Nalvis Orbit. Fire up the old words on stream. And I'm going to take a break for a few minutes. Uh, next level is going to start in about 30 seconds. Back soon.
One more. Oof, close. Alright, let's be pausing that. GG. And autopilot off. Here we go. Back to the game. Uh, I don't actually need 10 material fabricators on my person for the moment, I think. Um, did we not get the fluid yet? Did I mess up the station somehow? 120,000 particle stream, request threshold 100k, it is connected. No, I don't think so. Words on stream still on stream. Uh, thank you. I am freaky. Good call. And so how much how much have we got here? Uh we are making it at full speed, but we're still we're still making antimatter. I could stop making antimatter for just a little while. since we literally don't have anywhere for it to go just yet. I could even... No, I'm not going to do that. One, once things are going well, I really want to prioritize antimatter, because that's our fuel. Um, but that said, I really want some particle stream right now. What have we got? A little bit more than uh, 64,000, a little bit less rather. How much does... it's only a hundred that the particle stream will accumulate here, but antimatter stream... Uh, we're going to have at least a thousand... Okay, about a thousand piled up in each of these machines. So 12,000 antimatter stream right here. Maybe start research for power from antimatter? Uh, it's going to be a while before we get the stuff, uh, the, the ingredients to get that research, but sure. Oh, I wanted this though. This is only a hundred. Let's get it. Um, because I... 
I want to be able to, whenever I'm waiting on something, we can uh, design the data cards uh, for the next, the next tier of science. Flat Solar 3 is only 500 as well. How much do we have? Oh my goodness. O okay. I'm going to say maybe we've got 500 of these ready to go, I hope. That was pretty quick. Um, and then... Let's, let's take a step back here. We can get factory ship... Oh, we don't have that yet. Uh, another 500 gives us plus 500 integrity for our spaceships, just from one research. Plus 1,000 if we go for 1,500. Nice. Aren't we at maximum, like, 2,000 right now? 1,000. So we, we can double it, which is from two researchers. And without getting another tier of science. Um, but it's all bottlenecked on Naquium for now. I can get the final tier of jetpack. It's actually surprisingly easy to make. That's only 240. Uh, this, though, is a thousand. Costs extended energy catalogs. I think I want to get all the little things first. This is, I feel like this is underpriced, the best possible accumulator in the game. I'll probably only bother using the tier 3 panels and accumulators on spaceships, though. Uh, best jetpack, absolutely. Energy shield, I don't care about. Oh, uh, 17,000, though. That's going to take a long time. I don't know if I'll even bother with this, to be honest. Not for a while. And I think we could go bot speed, but I don't think we really desperately need any more bot speed. Let's go for antimatter reactor after that. When even is the end goal reached? Um, I know there's a few ways to win the game. Uh, one of them involves going really fast in a spaceship for like, what is it, five or ten minutes so that a research can happen. Um, I think there's probably, maybe Foenestra is a path to finishing the game. What else have we got? Spaceship Victory. That's probably... Yeah, this is the one where you have to maintain 250 speed for 10 minutes. Uh, while doing research with some kind of... I think we saw... No, here it is. Nexus. This thing. There is an explicit victory condition. Uh, yeah. There's at least one. I think there's multiple. I think that's what I heard. Somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't really need the material. I may as well build them. What the hell. Let's get our material fabricators in place already. Actually, no. I changed my mind again. Get these out of my inventory for now. Are you going for it? Yeah, definitely. What I'm hoping... Oh, we ran out. Uh, we just ran out of Naquium for research. Uh, we do already have this plate here, though, so as soon as we finally get that particle stream... Uh, I think we're getting close. I can actually check. 92k. And 
this doesn't seem to be going full speed. We've run out of plasma stream again. Oh, that is actually quite slow. I mean, we calculated this already at maximum speed. It's 629 per second, so that's actually only like uh, 20 more seconds, but why are the ones in the middle dead? The ones on the outside just run out of input fluid a little bit slower. We do have more plasma stream on the way though, it looks like. Aquium left the chat. Yeah, it did. Um, let's make sure we are requesting the plasma stream pretty much as soon as there's room for it. There we go. I guess I could add some storage for it, but I don't think that's strictly necessary. Hundred K, there it is. Train should be coming along automatically to take a particle stream. I don't remember the other place that uses particle stream. Is it? That's not it. Okay, good. Um did I bump up the priority on this one? No. Uh there's like one place so far, I think, besides the new place that uses particle stream. All right, where are you going with that? Oh. Make that two places. I'm pretty sure one of the other sciences does it. Um, okay, I'm going to have to redirect this. Wait, did I bump up the priority on this one? I did not. Okay. So I'm going to do a little... Editing on the fly of this. Uh, schedule. That should do it. Picking up the fluid, and then we go over here, and then we go to the nearest station with this name, which that's why we have the temporary stop. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I wonder how long until we get some more Naquium. Well, I should check if it's actually already on Nalvis. It is not, as far as I know. Deep space, miner number two is coming in. Three ships are coming in right here, actually. And I assume, I think I'll go and just personally collect some of these Naquim cubes. Uh, since we don't need a whole lot to get started with antimatter engines, we need four... Four per engine and one per um, storage tank. It actually stores 50k, so it's not as ridiculous as the rocket booster tanks. I guess I could, one, once we've got more of them, I could put um, antimatter storage tanks here. It's only double the storage. I don't think it's worth bothering. Only on spaceships. And there is our fluid. Nice. Alright, let's uh, turn this thing on. And we'll see if the stack inserter is able to keep up with the plate with just one. Once we actually get the full throughput coming through, that is. 
Oh yeah, it looks like this thing's easily able to keep up. It's not even close. So this is 6.4 Naquium plate per second. Even taking off the belt, a stack inserter can do more than that. And there's our first cubes. Nice suit. Uh, what else did we research recently? What was the one that got done, like, instantly? Uh, probably the catalog. We've got antimatter engines. Yeah. That's all of our prerequisites. Except for the actual Deep Space Science Pack 2. Cool. I'm gonna play around with antimatter engines today. Uh, let's see. We need one per booster tank and four per engine. One, two, three, four, and a couple of booster tanks. I want to make, um, I want to try making the smallest ship I can with antimatter and seeing how fast it goes. And we can come back here for more cubes after that. All right. Gamer lighting, though. So we have 12 cubes. Uh, that would be three engines or 12 booster tanks or something in between. Let's just make one engine and one booster tank on a ship and see what that can do. Of course, I need to actually get the antimatter in first. Um, we can allow short trains to pick this up naturally. at the mall. Where is... Here we go. Top right. I think I'll build a couple of antimatter... That was quick. A couple of antimatter engines and make it three. And eight booster tanks. And then request all of that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I need to turn this on. There's our engines. I have no idea how fast this thing is going to go, so... I wonder how many lasers it would need to support itself. I might be lazy and go up here for a new... Yeah, we don't need liquid rocket fuel or ion. Um... And I'll just use a solar panel or two. I need the Naquium ones. Uh, let's see. Where am I doing the solar stuff? Here we go. Give me one stack of each of those, please.
and go. Fantastic. All right, we should have everything we need to make a small uh, antimatter spaceship. Let's get some scaffolding in here. Oh, thank you. Very helpful. Also, this deep space miner is ready to go. I think this will be the last one that we build with the old technology. Uh, so I think we will send that to Oblong. This is Oblong 4. And once the bots calm down a bit, away we go. Would there be any disasters in space? Uh, you can get hit by meteorites. The ships in motion have to shoot down meteorites all the time, uh, literally. But also in places like orbit around the sun or an asteroid or wherever, uh, we need to have media defense installations, if not uh, point defenses like we've got out here, so that it doesn't get smashed by meteors. Oh, I haven't set this up yet. More mining, and more mining. That is going to significantly boost our Naquitite production. Uh, raw Naquitite in particular. Yep. I guess it's not that big of a difference. That's when we've got both of the mines going at the same time, though. Which has been happening oddly consistently for the last hour, but there's a big gap between it. Um, but actually... Yeah, that that is not an insignificant boost in our Naquitite throughput. Um, and let's just check, Ob Oblong 4 should be on its way, fantastic, alright, so we're going to need, uh, where do I want to put this? I think I just want to do a request with a short train. For now. Uh, where's my train stop? Here we go. That's vanilla train stop only. You can run out of fuel? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's a disaster. Uh, I think I said... I did say hello to Hughes Mike, right? Well, good to see you anyway. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, tea hacks and chat. Just returned from some lunch with the family. How's it going? Pretty good, Raren. We are just about to play with antimatter engines for the first time. Fifth row, first item. Uh, yes, thank you. Alright, so this is going here. I think we need a little bit more scaffolding. Uh, request a station... And we want... Why don't I just make a bit more scaffolding up here? Antimatter engine's quite exciting, absolutely. Especially since, you know, they can go interstellar and they've got the power to get on and off planet. So we don't need, like, two types of fuel. They use 10 times less power than ion engines, but I assume 
somehow somehow I'm gonna guess they have more thrust. Um, also, the energy density of their fuel, I would expect to be just insane. Uh, so, the en the only downside, if you could call it that, uh, is the engines are even bigger than the ion engines. Um, ion engine compared to the smaller engine. I think it's just one tile wider and one tile longer. Uh, and the antimatter engine compared to that is once again one tile wider and longer, but it starts at 3x3, three three, so that's a pretty big difference. I mean, 3x4, three um, three they look larger? Yeah, definitely. Alright, so we're going to need some spaceship floor. I want to build the smallest possible ship with, um, with antimatter engines. This is a bit of a mess. But I would rather start with too much rather than not enough. Uh, I need a roboport up here. Or oh, not so much here, but over this way. Because we're gonna have fluid drop up here. I think I will... Even if I make this a bit quick and tacky for now, I think this is where I want to have a berth for what's going to become the player ship. And with Arendelle hired by Woob, it'll take a while, I guess. Will you die immediately if you take off the suit? No. Oh. I see what you did there. Uh, hmm. If I drop all of my life support, we actually see that I start to suffocate. Um, let's put it in a box. Outside of the logistic range. Um, I still have ten minutes. That's weird. Is it because it consumes it kind of like fuel? Like when the last stack of... When the last item of liquid rocket fuel disappears, you've actually got, like, a bunch of fuel left over? Let's swap to the power armor. No? Oh, there it goes. You're suffocating. Get in a space capsule or put on your thruster suit with some life support canisters. You can also get in a vehicle. Um, as you can see, it does take a while to suffocate as well, although this is at one-third game speed. Um, but yeah. Even if you're out in space... Well, I mean, technically we are in space right now. PC Duck, Mazel Fazzle, uh, Anarellian the First, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Let's get some antimatter here. I'm gonna go antimatter, requester, antimatter stream that is. And... Whoops. More than that, please. Is the lowered UPS on purpose? Absolutely not. Or just because there's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of stuff. Uh, this is our orbital base. Uh, this is our old orbital bases. This is what we've got on our main planet. Uh, and this is the number of... Hmm. 
So th this is actually not a good representation. We can see all of the planets where we've got cargo rocket uh, landing pads and uh, silos. But a lot of these ships, Sanj, Keto Bar, Penium, Orchard, uh, these have spaceships for the uh, logistics between them. We've got uh, core mining on a lot of planets. Dugrax, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Delete empty chunk mod. Yeah, we've got that. Uh, it's sort of built into space exploration. Oh yeah, I was actually demonstrating this before. Um, this is the entire size of the moon closest to Nalvis. Uh, if I zoom out to the maximum, that's all of the space that takes up in the middle of the screen. It's about... The diameter is about the same as the navigation satellite, um, the height of the navigation satellite window. Uh, looking at Nalvis, yeah, our, 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 our base on Nalvis literally wouldn't fit on Mars. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily set up here in a future playthrough. Uh, but yeah, we can actually trim or delete surface. We can't delete because there's stuff, there's player stuff on this surface, but... Uh, if we trim surface, it drops it down to the minimum based on where we've got stuff that belongs to the player. Uh, we actually had ridiculously long save time previously. Uh, but we fixed that. Alright, let's make the smallest uh, antimatter spaceship. I guess if this is... We can't make this symmetrical and have it connect directly to the engine, unfortunately. Um, so I guess I'll put this here. And we can refuel it like so. Uh, we need some spaceship walls. Those should be in this... Oh, there's my little hit point thingy. Those should be in this robo network. I guess the spaceship console is going to have to be slightly off-center. We also need a power source. Oh, the whole thing's going to have to be a bit asymmetrical. Hmm, unless... Let's make it a little bit wider, instead of strictly making the smallest possible um, spaceship. See if we can make it symmetrical-ish. And we need some... Accumulators. On second thought, move this over a bit. On second, second thought, I guess I can live with this. Um, could make it kind of look like an arrow or something. We only really need the uh, accumulator to tell us if the ship should slow down automatically. Let's put some lasers here. We're at 7.5 megawatts with just this solar panel. Wait, how much power does this use? Only one megawatt. That's amazing. So we could actually support... Uh, yeah, we could support two lasers and this engine uh, going at full speed when we're as close to the sun as Nalvis with just this solar panel. Interesting. How about this? And then we do a little something so that it's streamlined. Wait, you can move already placed objects? Uh, it's a mod. 
And also, I can't actually move the console. Um, while it is a ghost, I can move it. Uh, but certain items you can't move once they're actually placed. But the mod is called Picker Dollies. Um, and it does let you move stuff around like this. Uh, and it actually maintains wire connections, circuit wire connections, and so on. It won't let you stretch them further than you would normally be able to put them. Uh, you can also rotate these in a way that doesn't... Uh, that you can't do with uh, the vanilla game. Uh, but yeah, Picker Dollies is the mod you're looking for for that. Um, and in default controls, you just hold down shift, point at something, and start using the uh, cursor keys. And there's also a key bind for rotating things like that. It's very useful. Okay. This isn't going to be streamlined, is it? Surely. Nope, it's actually not. Um, you know, that uses so little power, I kind of want to put two of them. We've got 7.5 megawatts from... You know what? Let's do it. I've got two, at least a couple of engines here, right? Let's go slightly bigger. I should have just picked those up. One and two. Um, and I guess that's... That's actually going to fit very well. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Um, and then... We can have a couple of flat solos. Console. Um, where is it? Console can go here. We'll put accumulators. Where did my accumulators go? Oh, I see. Here. And lasers. How about like this? I don't know how fast this thing's going to go. Whether this is going to be overkill for the lasers or not enough. I don't have any medium power poles here. I could make some. If I put that there... No, I think I would rather use these little ones. Although they don't snap to any kind of grid. Let's try and make that as neat as possible. That's kind of weird looking. I can't pick the dollies this around, right? No. Alright, let's see if that's streamlined. Once the bots get here, with the walls. I also need some doors, unless I want to... Where's my spider? Oh, there you are. And he can reach across that. Cool. Get in my inventory. What's the purpose of that ship? We're just playing with antimatter. Um, this is almost the smallest ship that we can make with it. Uh, let's add a couple of doors. Or, do you mean this ship or a different ship? Can you transport biters to spaceship? Uh, not really. You can make biters that are friendly to you. I think they die after like a minute or something. Just like uh, defender capsules. Um, but it's not like you can seed biters in an area or anything like that. 
All right, so let's see. Integrity check. Uh, past streamline is only 90%. Uh, okay. Let's add just a little bit more wall. And I wonder what would be the best. I mean, it's probably going to be antimatter reactor, let's be honest. On the other hand, what, how much power does this need? One megawatt for each engine. Uh, maximum of a bit under four megawatts for each laser turret. So the power source that we should use that takes up the least space and hull stress and so on. Uh, it's not going to be energy beam receiver. That's a given. But the thing is, if we use an uh, antimatter engine, an uh, antimatter uh, power source, uh, reactor that is, uh, then really we should be using a high temp heat exchanger or two and a high temp turbine generator just for power. Uh, that's already taking up a significant amount of space. Uh, if we go for nuclear with condenser turbines, let's see, almost six megawatts each. We've, well, let's first find out if this is a sufficient number of lasers for how fast we're going to go. But let's suppose it is. Um... Well, we're looking at like 12, 13, 14 megawatts, so we would need three uh, condenser turbines. Call it four. Which I think is what we have on our space trucks. Uh, Varus. Varus one. Yeah. This is 40 megawatts, and this is using like uh, 12, 24. I could have dropped the number of heat exchanges by one. But basically, this is probably about the smallest power supply that we could have for a little antimatter ship. We may as well have two engines, it's only a megawatt. The vast if we go for if we go for bullets if we use uranium bullets oh maybe a shield projector would be good as well it uses a megawatt constantly but it might be net positive compared to having shooting having to shoot everything down by laser Except the lasers have more range, we have to put them behind the shield project. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Let's go for a joyride. Um, why do we not have our antimatter yet? Oh, because I forgot to switch this on. That's probably why. Also, I stopped producing it here earlier, but I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, we have closer to 200,000 than 100,000. So that we'll definitely have a train come to pick that up. Fantastic. Um, yeah, if we go for... Especially if it's just for a player ship, we don't actually need chests to feed the gun turrets. So then we only need a couple of megawatts. Uh, for the entire ship. But then, to go interstellar, it's not like we can get interstellar distances off of accumulators. Solar does nothing. 
so we're still looking at something like this for the smallest power source. That's a little disappointing. Like, no matter how high-tech we get, as far as I know, no matter how high-tech we get uh, in this game, we can't have, like, a decent amount of power in a really small space, in interstellar space. All right, let's get our antimatter in place. Whoops. Like so. Uh, I need a pump, actually, to make sure it all stays in there. Pump goes here. Uh, and I guess I should probably have clamps, just so it's easy to tell the ship where to land. Except there's no room, really. I could put it, like, here. Nah, I'll just try and park it. Um, properly, later on. I mean, I could build scaffolding exactly around the entire ship so that I can see where it goes, but this should be fine. And 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Unfortunate. Uh, 5 and 7 is 12. 5, 5 and 3, I think, is the only way. Wait, no, stop. It's actually 12 that we're looking for. Wait, I was wrong. I thought I counted this as one of those tiles earlier. Yeah, it is 13 that we're looking for. That works as well. That's a good fit. Antimatter engines look like they'll tear that diminutive ship apart. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Alright. Uh, we're just waiting for this to fill up. I mean, I'm sure we could go to the sun and back on fumes of antimatter, is my guess. But I would rather be over-prepared. How fast do you guys think this ship is going to go? I want to say at least a hundred. The more I think about it, this might not be enough lasers. Um, just to be safe, I'm going to put all of these lasers into my power armor. And if it starts looking dicey, I'll stand up the front of the ship. Also, I should grab some spaceship wall. Uh, so I can replace it if it gets destroyed. 140? Really? It's kind of scary, actually. Alright. Uh... Oh, this is actually the entire 100,000 that's going to fit in these two spaceship booster tanks. Uh, I think I'll stop requesting antimatter here because we've got another 100,000 on the way. And when I change the design, I want to be able to pump this back over here. 
Are you going to redesign ship setup? Yes. Including duplication. In du including duplication? Oh, do you mean like redesign all of our spaceships? Uh, somewhat, yeah. I think... I don't know, for some of the ships... It's going to be a long process. If I'm going to replace, like, all of our space trucks... Okay, why is Orchard full? And I saw no ships heading there. No, I see Orchard ship. Oh, Orchard ships? Orchard 6 on the way. Uh, where are our copper core fragments? Here we go. Orchard 5. You're joking. What? We're not picking up copper core fragments? We have so many copper core fragments uh, that our ships are waiting their turn. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe I should build another one of these blocks. Uh, probably, probably absolutely, actually. Let's build that over here. And I'm not going to worry too much about the prod modules getting all in before I allow the trains to come. Because we're slowing, uh, like... We're not core mining right now because the copper core fragments aren't moving. Uh, if anything, I'll just drop the priority on the second station if we don't get all the prods straight away. Good problem to have, too much copper. Okay, 200 spaceships renovation, indeed. Okay, we are pretty much full. It's very slowly pushing in just a little bit more. Okay. I kind of want to know exactly... Okay, that's close enough. Should we go to the sun and back? If we go out here, we might actually run into power problems. Uh, we've got like 15 megawatts from Nalvis Orbit, which is way more than we need. Uh, actually, no it isn't. Let's call this 4 megawatts per laser. That's 12, 13, 14. So let's not go further out than Nalvis Orbit from the sun. Uh, let's go to Calidus Orbit and back, see how fast we go, see how much antimatter stream we consume, and see if this is not enough lasers, as a matter of fact. Uh, I might just... I'm gonna just read one of these at first. And we're going to set the target speed as something up to 100. And if we can safely go 100, I'm going to connect to the second one and see what happens. Pieces of missing railway track to the right. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I placed... Um... Well, this part doesn't actually matter uh, very much. That was from... I think there was a mine that had to be here or something. Oh, I almost forgot to check. We got we have our prods here. That's excellent. Let's get our spiders to visit all of these pieces of rail. And back to the mall after that, I think. Okay. Calidus orbit. Away we go. We're already at 30. Oh my goodness. We're already... Okay. 
Now UPS is like lurching down into the teens because the spiders are dropping uh, uh, signals right now. And in a few seconds, we're already over a hundred. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, our UPS down to the single digits is also kind of crazy, but it's going to pass in a moment. Um... Yeah, if only there was something with much, much denser energy storage without taking up a certain minimum of space. I would definitely consider gun turrets with uranium ammo uh, to go super fast in a little ship. Oh, we're already, yeah, we're already at maximum speed. Okay, uh, let's connect this. Target speed 200. Also, the lasers don't seem to be struggling yet. What laser research are we on? Uh, energy weapon damage 9. We could get 10 once we get a bunch more Naquium. How is the fuel? Uh, imperceptible so far. Yeah, we... Oh my goodness. We've barely even scratched the fuel supply. Uh, let me step back so I'm not destroying the rocks with my personal lasers. I want to make sure... What's our speed? Target speed is 200. We're, we've... we're at 200 already. But also, we're at 200 and we're not having trouble shooting down the... Okay, we are having trouble shooting down the asteroids. That's a bit dangerous. I'm going to stand up the front. And I'm going to remove this. So our target speed is unlimited now. Uh-oh. Um, okay, that didn't take long. Stop, 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 stop. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, we figured out how to slow down. Um, more lasers? That's all of the lasers that I have on me. I could put a Spidertron here. It doesn't have any lasers, though. Good thing I brought those walls. Good. Good thing... Good, good thing I brought... Good thing I brought those walls. Walls leave the chat too. Um, we've got enough to fix this, but why? Let me guess. I didn't click this button. That's probably why. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's make a little adjustment. And I'm going to need RoboPorts to pick this up. And then we're not going to be as streamlined. We're going to go back to Nalvis Orbit for now. Well then. That was... So we've used so little fuel to go this far that I need to actually make a note of how full our antimatter tanks are before we get going. The scale that we're consuming the antimatter stream is so small that um, I'm not going to get a visceral idea of it just looking at, oh, we, we've used 2k. I mean, I thought it would be more like 
I don't know how much I expected it to cost to go to the sun and back, but I thought it would at least be noticeable. Like, I didn't expect to mouse over this and see 50k still. 270 my tick? The max speed. Uh, well, we're gonna need more lasers, and then we're gonna bottleneck on power, is the thing. Although we will have less of a bottleneck on power as we get closer to the sun. So I think we're gonna go for like five lasers. How many spaceship walls do I have? Oh, zero. We were barely able to fix this. So if we go up to five lasers, that is 3.86. Oh, we're back already. 19.3 megawatts. We're going to start at 15. So we're, we're very much going to be bottlenecked on power. Um, let's put some spaceship tile here again. And a couple more lasers. We'll need some more power thingies. That looks kind of weird. I don't like it. Okay, I'm going to have to do some manual wire adjustments here, just for the aesthetic, much better, and we should still have a streamline if I do this, I think. Also, give to me spaceship walls. Just get full charged accumulators and no solar panels. Only for tr it, they, they'll last like five seconds, if that. Even with the uh, Naquim accumulators, they're not going to last that long. It's like ten times the storage, or is it five times the storage? Yeah, it's only five times the storage of a Holmium accumulator. Uh, it's also five times the throughput. So it's literally just five Holmium accumulators. May as well... No, let's not do that. Uh, okay. Are we still streamlined? That's not what I meant to click on. No! Uh, I guess we need... a little bit more... spaceship wall? Where are my bots? Here we go. I think I do want to move that forward a bit. Alright, is this streamlined? It's the same. Alright, fine, I guess we need to move this forward a little bit as well. I guess in that case we can fit even more lasers. This one's not connected actually. And then Alright, this has got to be streamlined. 100%. Launch energy. 2,000 gigajoules out of 6. What does it take for 
one of our biggest ships to take off from Nalvis. 746 gigajoules. That's kind of a lot. That's uh, most of... I think we get 800 gigajoules out of these 400,000 liquid rocket fuel. 746. And this is... Uh, more than double that. So just one... Just like, uh, one booster tank is more than enough for a big ship to take off from Alvis. Hello, can you use antimatter engines to take off from a planet? Uh, yes, I've seen that on... Another stream, actually. Alright, so I think we're ready to go to the sun again. Instead of circuit controlling it, I'm just going to type in numbers. Let's start with... 200 should be safe, right? Well, maybe not in the super dense asteroids, but we're not going there. Um, let's just turn those into 100. With the power you now have, why not add plenty of panels and turrets? I want to see what we can do with a really small ship. I also want to see... Okay, so this is... We're not getting any more full than this. This is literally as full as it gets. Like 0.5 less than 50k. Plus 200. 500 speed? I think we'll die if that happens. Uh, Calidus Orbit. Go. Alright, how fast are we going? We're already at 55, 65, 75, 83, 92, 100, 120... 160. Hey, what do you do with all the coal from the pulverizers? Do you mean like if you end up with too much? Krasus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Hum, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, yeah, so I have a whole system. I'll show you after this because I want to pay attention. Uh, I, I did not want to look away and then find that we crashed into some things while I wasn't looking. The engines have been switching off. Let's let's make this target speed unlimited for now until it looks like we are going to crash into something. 220 230 Mil Dorado said 270, but the ship was slightly smaller when they said that. 242... That estimate is looking pretty accurate. I think we're definitely hitting 250. Hope the devs allow us to steer the ship in the future. I don't know how that would work in Factorio. 251... 252. Alright, I think we're... We're probably going to cap out at, like, 257, 260 or something. And we are already past so... Wow. Bearing in mind that this is one-third game speed, approximately. So we would... We would literally already be at the sun if this was at 60 UPS. Also, we're only getting more power as we get closer, so... If we were to circuit control it with the accumulators and bottleneck on power... Well, we just don't have a bottleneck on power now. Let me move to the back of the bus so... We make sure that the lasers are... Having to do their job.
258.4. I think we're going to hit 260. That was a really good estimate. 250 max? No, we're at 258. Speed still rising? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's tapering off. We might hit 260. We might be able to hit 260, but not have time before we get to the sun, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to hit 260 by the time we get there. We might if we had to go far enough, but it's starting to look like something like 259 is the limit. You were close? Yeah, you really were. And the ship was smaller when you said that, so that might have actually been super accurate. If we could, you know, maintain that speed and not die or anything. 258.83. All right, how much how much antimatter fuel do you think is still left in one of these tanks? It was literally 0.5 short of 50k earlier when we started at Nalvis Orbit. Uh, there's also a, a hundred in each of these uh, here, but that's pretty negligible. More than 49k? Yeah, I I didn't mean to mouse over that yet, but I was gonna say that's a given. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say, I mean, I have no idea, to be honest, but I'm gonna say we used 10 antimatter fuel total. Okay, a bit more than that. <laughs> uh, about 300 times 2, 600. It's not that crazy, but it is pretty crazy. Uh, a little bit less than 600 antimatter fuel to go from Nalvis Orbit to Calidus. 49958. Not quite. <laughs> um, that is still insane. Like, it still says 50k if we mouse over this because it's that close to full. Now this orbit. So, so with that little outing, it is a small ship, but double engines. With that little outing, we've consumed all of, let's see. Let's rate calculate this. This is still positive on particle stream. Uh, we've literally used all of one second of antimatter stream production from this block. Or to put it another way, the thermofluid just costs energy, so I, I pretty much consider that to be free at this point. You, you need to make a whole bunch of it at first, but the amount that you lose is so small, it's, it's practically free. Also, the input resources for it are quite cheap, quite easily at attained. So, discounting the thermal fluid entirely. Um, 50... Okay, so it's pretty much one-to-one -one antimatter stream is particle stream, if we're looking at the resources. Uh, one material testing pack, five send... And 100 plasma actually makes 200 particle stream. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... 300 plasma stream, 3 material testing packs, and 15 sand. Uh, sand is literally just a bit of rock, a bit of stone. Uh... One stone makes two sand, so it's like seven, without prod modules, that's like seven stone. Uh, testing pack is one stone, one plastic, one copper, one iron, and it was like, what, three of these? Or was it six or something? No, it's literally three testing packs. So, three iron, three copper, three plastic, about ten stone, and... 
just the particle stream is stone plus one stone, so practically nothing, uh, plus 10 chemical gel. So it's like 30 chemical gel plus those resources that I said. And chemical gel is... Okay, so it's like 300 petroleum. And cosmic water is ridiculously cheap. It's just water plus um, a little bit of lubricant. Except that you need to get it into space first. Let's see, cosmic water, 99 water and 1 lubricant. So we can pretty much, except for the cost of getting water into space, we can pretty much ignore that. So... It's basically 300 petroleum plus a handful of, like, literally just a couple of copper plate, iron plate, and plastic, and a little bit of stone. Round trip took two seconds of production? Yes. Uh, or, no, trip to the sun took literally two seconds. Uh, of producing our antimatter. And it felt like it took about two seconds to get there. Uh, yeah, 600 per second. So, about... Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Round trip took about two seconds of this thing going full speed. And a laughably small amount for this stage of the game of resources. So it is about what I thought, um, especially compared to the other fuels. Antimatter is practically free as far as we're concerned at this stage of the game. Very cool. Let's pump that back into the storage and start thinking about what our antimatter player ship is going to look like. I'm thinking two engines and a couple of booster tanks just like this, maybe. I pretty much just want this, uh, sorry, this, attached to the smallest, uh, power plant that can support it. So this, what is it, six lasers? It seemed like there were moments where we did need six lasers to prevent... Oh, I didn't try... I think it's time to try out a... shield projector. What about one shield projector and two lasers? Is that going to work? Or like... It, when the shield projector goes down, is that going to be a problem? Um, because overall it's going to use less power if we're going fast, right? Let's go a bit faster here. Oh, I need my jetpacks. There we go. This is interesting. I might have to really think about... I, I, I'm really tempted to play with... Uh, what we could do with a small antimatter player ship. I could just extend the stream a bit today, maybe.
Is this better? That was really weird. For reasons, I've got a mute program and also the mute on OBS. And somehow they got out of sync. So I was always muted by one or the other. How long was I talking to myself for? I was pretty much just rambling about possibilities for designing the smallest uh, player ship with antimatter engines. It's basically about how small can we make a decent power supply. And I think the answer is uh, nuclear power with some steam turbines. Unfortunately? What was I coming back here for? Oh yeah, yeah, shield projector. Let's grab... I probably just want one, but let's grab all of those. Stored steam? I mean, we can get 5,000 degree steam, and that'll get us pretty far, theoretically. Assuming we don't have any problems with blocking the outputs of this or anything. But, to take advantage of 5,000 degree steam, which is far more energy dense, well, literally 10 times more energy dense than 500 degree steam, um, we need we need one of these. It's pretty big. And we also need at least, preferably three of these to support it. Um, 900 degree steam? I don't know if this is part of Crastorio or something, but in this playthrough at least, 900 degree steam effectively doesn't exist. Because if we use, like, uh, those infinity pipes in a sandbox game and we make 900 degree steam, like, we can do it that way. Uh, but if we give it 5,000 degree steam, it doesn't work. Um, if you go over 1,000, I think, or something like, th about 1,000, it doesn't work as 900 degree steam. So, there's actually no recipe uh, that gives us steam at 900 degrees, unfortunately. Everything's 5,500 or 100 or 165. Uh, so, we can't really get the 10.62 megawatts per condenser turbine. You can store 5,000 degree steam, but we need this monstrosity to take advantage of it. And we need three of these condenser turbines. Well, two has worked with this build, but maybe that was a little bit lucky. I was experimenting in the sandbox with a steam-only ship. Um, but if it had trouble outputting... Uh, it, it was blocked outputting something, and I think it was because we didn't have enough condenser turbines, maybe? It seemed to work perfectly for a while, and eventually it just sort of crashed. Um, but yeah, to take advantage of 500 degree steam, we need a high temp turbine generator, and that is pretty large, actually. Um, if we're comparing it to... The smallest power plants that we can... If we use nuclear, like, we're looking at about the same size. But that's not counting the other stuff this needs. Um, Alright, so I've grabbed our shield projectors. Let's see... I want to see what difference just putting one shield projector up the front could make. Probably two in a row would be better. But I want to see what one looks like first. Instead of like four laser turrets. We're going to need to ruin our streamline again, probably. I 
I have serious doubts that, like, two laser turrets like this are going to be able to keep up. Looks kind of cool. Although, weirdly low frame rate. 5,000 health on each of these segments, it looks like. Uh, alright, let's see how our streamline looks. 90%. Okay. Let's... Why don't we make it four laser turrets and one generator? That's actually probably pretty good. In fact... No, aren't the lasers just going to shoot first? If they can reach past the shield generator. So like... Almost all the time... I want to try two lasers... Uh, actually, let's not. Let's put that there first. I'll try it with four lasers first. Oh, and I should put this back in here. Put the accumulators at front, lasers behind those. Uh, it's not gonna really make a difference. We either want the lasers to only fire when the shield fails. Suspiciously, that lines up perfectly. Uh... Or we want the lasers to be able to destroy things before they would hit the shield. This cannot be rotated. I like how it just sort of destroys the shield temporarily. Wait, toggle shield with R. Okay, that's actually... Intended, I guess. Can you circuit control these? I doubt there'd be... Even if we could, I doubt there'd be any way to detect when we should turn them on and off. The best... the only thing I've come up with for circuit controlling ship speed is accumulator charge if we're bottlenecked on power. Alright, let's give this a try. I know we don't need any more um, antimatter fuel right now. Launch is disabled. I think not. I'll just live with the 90% uh, streamline for now. I'm sure it'll be fast enough. So... Emergency lasers, but I'll stand at the back. Yeah, see, the lasers are going to shoot down stuff before the shield does anything. Unless it would have been close, I guess. I want to see a big rock hit the shield, and I want to see exactly how long it takes to recharge. Oh, here we go. That is... Slower than expected, actually. Are we stuck on power? No. The accumulators aren't getting low. Hmm. Do we want to have shields primarily? taking damage and lasers picking up the slack that would be better for power or do we want lasers to do everything and shields just in case we fail if we're doing a small ship we can't really do the latter anyway like a really small ship but we're not we're not going to do a ship this small um we're going to go for like probably the nuclear option whoa hello there it is uh, we're probably going to go for, like, uh, 
I don't know, what is this? 20 megawatts and change? 4, 8, 9, yeah, that's about right. You could swap the whole solar panel block with the turret and console? Uh, I guess. But then this would be off center. But I want this thing, well not this thing, I, I want the player ship that I'm going to make to be able to go into Stellar anyway. So we're not going to be running off of solar panels. Uh, this was just for experimentation, basically. It's pretty cool though. I think I might try, when I build a bigger ship, I think I might try to have lasers shoot everything down, but this as a backup. Energy per shot, zero joules. It doesn't show it, but it's always consuming one megawatt, I believe. 2.4 megawatts? What? Hold on. Max consumption, min consumption, one megawatt. Uh, I feel I've been misled. Let's just look at shield project. Oh, it definitely... Okay, so the minimum consumption is actually one megawatt. And when it does its thing, it can jump all the way to 17 megawatts. At least for a moment. Did we get damaged? No, we're here. Big hits take more power because low shields rebuild faster. Ah. Okay, so we're really paying per hit point. On top of the minimum power consumption. Interesting. Very interesting. I think... This, this is my tentative early opinion. Uh, I think in my ships I'm going to use shield projectors as a backup and try and shoot down everything. Of course, I haven't uh, I haven't had ships that go super fast yet, unless you count this one. 238. Isn't 250 all we need to win the game? Uh, 250. But that's going to be a significantly bigger ship, I would imagine. Um, ride a spaceship with a Nexus running in distortion drive mode at 250 speed for 600 seconds. How big is the Nexus? Uh, it's not like we can check this way, right? Considering it look... Okay, let's guess that it's going to be the same size as... a lab, if not bigger. That's what, 6x6? Six six? It's kind of big, though. All right, let's head back to Nelvis Orbit. Nexus has some other challenges attached, I can imagine. But I'm wondering how small a endgame, a victory condition ship could be. That might be a good self-imposed challenge. Oh, 
Also, I guess we can't toggle these shields automatically. Um, it, I actually realized there is a condition that I would want to automatically turn the shields off. And that's when we're stopped or anchored. Uh, because otherwise we are constantly burning fuel. I guess it's no different from the minimum consumption of ion engines being 333 kilowatts. Um, we just need to make sure we have some solar panels. If we don't want to burn fuel for nothing. Not very small, it needs to be able to produce a lot of power. Also, it needs to be interstellar. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's kind of goes without saying. I mean, I guess if it didn't have to be interstellar, you could go back and forth in the solar system by changing destination. Uh, but yeah, very, very pleased with the power of antimatter engines, not to mention how cheap they are power-wise. That's incredible. Just need more lasers instead. Yeah, and some uh, uh, energy weapon damage. I've done uh, I've done builds in sandbox, and because of because of the way the navigation satellite works, um, I keep having to cheat like type in cheat to switch back on the infinite uh, resources um, and unfortunately that also bumps up all of the research to a certain level so I keep forgetting or not realizing like I'll build something with lasers that I want to test against biters or maybe a spaceship or something and then Suffice to say, with enough research, probably two lasers would be more than enough to go the maximum speed of this ship. Like, the asteroids just disappear. Kind of like what we just saw, only with the bigger ones. How much antimatter did it use for that little trip? Uh, it was 600 from Nalvis Orbit to Calidus. And we've got... Uh, in our one block that makes antimatter, uh, if it's going at full speed, we used up all of two seconds of antimatter production. Um, so yeah. Literally two seconds uh, for these machines to make enough antimatter for that trip. Let's have a look at the power again. I didn't see how much damage that did. Seems good. Yeah, it really is. And we're back already. Even with 20... Like, 20 to 22 UPS. Uh, I know we're just going to Calidus and back, but these sh these trips are just surprisingly and refreshingly quick. Alright, let's put that there. And I think it is about time to wrap up the stream for today. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Tumbling satellite? Why not? What was your coal system again? Uh, it is... Do you mean the coal core fragments? Or... Like, bringing them up to space? Oh, right, right. The way we get rid of... Alright, let me cancel this raid for just a second. We'll do it again. Once I explain this. Uh, so, with core mining... Um... Or with breaking down core fragments... You get all of these outputs, and you don't get a say in it. Um, so, if you run out of storage space for iron, 
you're not getting any copper, you're not getting any coal, stone, uranium, vulcanite, or anything. Uh, so, if you want to get, if you want to keep going until you're full on all of these things, uh, you're going to have to start destroying some of the excess, or find some kind of sink for it. And the way to automate that, at least without any extra mods, is to put it in a chest and shoot it with delivery cannons. Thanks for the stream. Always a good time. Thank you. Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, are we about to see it? We've got 103,000 Holmanites, so we should actually... Yeah, we should actually see this thing firing as soon as the bots stop moving. We've got circuitry here to control... Don't fire unless the bots have stopped moving, or most of them. Uh, don't fire... We don't destroy stuff unless we've got over a hundred thousand of something. We have a station here that lets trains take away resources if they're actually needed before that happens. Here we go. Uh, and we've just got a system of priorities and encoded network IDs. So that we're never destroying items here that come from... Like a temporary copper mine, for example. Uh, and that's that's the basics of it. We destroy things with cannons. Thank you, just blast it into space. I think if you blast it into space... Um, let me try right here, actually. Oh, autosave, bad timing. Uh, I believe if you drop things in space, they're just going to be there. And e even if you fire a delivery cannon at not a delivery cannon chest, uh, some of the resources will remain on the ground. So if you just fire at them into space, you're going to end up with a ever wider pile of stuff. Um like can i move here we go let me just drop some of this stuff yeah like kind of like this except it'll automatically be marked like so um think of when you accidentally take off your power armor or something and there's a big square of items um that appears on the ground it's going to be like that but it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger until the end of time. And it's probably not going to be good for UPS or how long it takes to save the game. Um, so I probably wouldn't recommend blasting it into space. Alright. Let's drop in on tumbling today. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And, uh, stay safe. Take care, guys. building aspect won't be as pronounced as I would like, but it's Guri, Tyrannosaurus, welcome on in. How did the factory go, friend? <laughs>